Who's arriving, you guys? Who's here? Who's who's all coming today? <laughs> all the fun people that'll be super excited. We have to find Gaius. Do we have any ratchet straps that we can contain these people with? Like we need we need to like corral them all. We got a nice covering here so people don't fall through to their death. It's kind of nice. I was thinking the YouTube commenters are gonna love the railing. I know they, they will. It's very it's much safer. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disagree with that. Well, last stuff for you just finishing up there. I was just doing the final layout for the post so that when we swing the bents up here, we know exactly where the bases of the post will live. And who are you? I'm Gaius Hennen. And, and you you have quite a bit of responsibility behind this. I do. It's very nerve wracking. I'm the engineer on the job, so anything that goes wrong with this building, that's gonna be on me. You gentlemen excited? Hi there. <laughs> excited is a good word to use. <laughs> Enthusiastic, maybe? Man, we should charge for parking. <laughs> That's what they do in Canada, right? No, yeah, they make it two hour parking and they have to keep coming back. And, <laughs> and we got a tip too. How you doing? Doing great, thanks, how are you? Good. <laughs> Christmas came early. I guess so. I feel like I need a, an open boxing here. I'm gonna steal someone's blade just to... Uh, <laughs> Where'd you travel from? Philadelphia. East Coast. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of crazy. I'm, I spent $5,000 and 13 hours of travel to come help build their house. <laughs> nah, just to, be part, just to be part of it. I mean, I've been watching their journey. Right. It's so cool. You know, they're living my dream, in a sense. You know? Nice tools. Look at that puppy. Do you already know what's all inside it? Uh, not exactly. The bag. Nice. Oh, look at that, eh? Chisel, man. That's heavy. It's a honing guy. A couple pencils. And this is to, uh, if anyone gets out of line, that's what this is for. Shelter Institute. Think, build, live. Perfect. What are you thinking about? Just looking around, decompressing. How about you? <laughs> are you a professional photographer here, so yeah, I'm doing I'm doing some of the video stuff, so I'm trying to get everyone's first impression. Are you with the Shelter Institute, or are you just a friends, or helping with? Uh, okay. Yeah, well, very cool. So no, I'm just thinking about. <laughs> it's going to slow down. All right, it's very cool, and it's actually kind of nice to just check out the property. You know, it's always uh, it's always good to get back. I, I don't get to spend enough time outside anymore. So. Right. How long have you been following the journey for? I don't know, no, on and off for, I don't know. I've got a large family with a lot of little kids, so I don't get personal time. This is my time. So that, that's really, I, if I just stare at nothing, it's what I'll do. So, yeah. What are you looking forward to most, do you think? The last day, actually seeing a finished product. Instant gratification, you know, five days worth of work. And look, you have something to show for it. Cool. <laughs> you know? What was your name? I'm Eric. Eric? Levi. Levi, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you as well. Okay, gang, let's get started. If you could all sit on these beams, <clears throat> it's important that you become intimate with the wood. I don't have much of a voice, so the closer you come, the better. As always, there is one person who's late, and when that person shows up, we have a tradition, Shelter Institute tradition, that when that person shows up, all of you have to boo loudly. Loudly. Welcome to Shelter Institute, Idaho branch. Some. Uh, 
50 years ago, I was uh, practicing environmental law <coughs> in Portland, Maine with an environmental law firm and the senior partner <coughs> asked me to build him a passive solar home. I had paid my way through law school building and I paid my way through undergraduate school cutting timbers right here in Idaho. And my wife and I <coughs> really felt strongly that what we're trying to do is teach you to become competent. So we wanted our students each to build the perfect house and of course we wanted them to be completely different because we're all different. This is our 45th or so year of doing this. So uh, be confident that somehow or other this is going to happen. <clears throat> all of these sticks here are going to come together into a building. The classes that we teach in Maine are in an enormous steel building. We designed the building so that everything is predictable in the construction and everybody gets to do everything thoroughly. <clears throat> this building is more than twice that size but we haven't doubled the length of time. <laughs> and we have not doubled the number of students. <laughs> and we have this one place, which is a graveyard, <clears throat> where students who misbehave or make mistakes go. There's only one person there in all 45 years. This one person cut a timber too short. Jesse hasn't showed me where that place is here. So. <laughs> Welcome. This is, uh, this is about having fun. So what I thought we would do first is take a walk through the tools. And I'll just give you um, a rundown of the tools, perhaps a little bit about how we use them, um, and, and specifically what's in your kit. If you have any questions as we go, don't hesitate to ask. on any of these things so far? Okay, next up is sharpening. And this is what we're actually gonna do a little bit this afternoon in a bit. Uh, but the most important part for getting good results quickly when you're sharpening is to use a honing guide. down there Jesse. Holy cow, they're getting like school hard. This building is complex. Do you remember Real. everything from your your timber frame class? I remember pretty good. It's really, yeah it's funny how it like gets deeply ingrained in your brain. It's almost like traumatic. <laughs> Ooh, that's feeling warm. Oh, we're only at 80. Got a little ways to go turtle. How long has the fire been going today? Uh, I think it was lit just before the workshop started, so maybe two hours. Right. So hopefully, hopefully by the time everybody leaves, it'll be toasty. Is it pretty surreal having all the people here? This is wild. I never, like, I don't know, and they're like all like, oh yeah, oh yeah. I remember doing this in Maine, it was just like, they had the same question. They're like, so us, those things gonna go up there on Friday? I'm like, I don't know, I said the same thing in Maine. I'm just like, us monkeys are gonna make that into a building. Yeah, this is crazy. I feel bad, I feel like I'm smoking everybody out. And I've been whining about everybody burning. And here I am like, <laughs> put up my best 
There we go. Have you had to sign any autographs yet? Not yet. Take any selfies? No, but everybody's definitely like, oh my god. Which, I guess if I was them, I'd probably do the same thing. This is pretty crazy. Is it, is it main, mainly just orientation today? Yeah, I think that they're going to do sharpening today, which I wasn't expecting. So that's ambitious. Sharpening is no small task. Um, they apparently are going to use a different method than we used in Maine. It took us like six hours. I was so mad because when we got our chisels, they said they were sharp. Like when you buy them, they're like, oh, they're sharp. They're sharp. And then you start sharpening and you're like, this thing is so far from shiny. You might as well just hand me a blunt piece of steel and I'll start with that. So here's hoping they're, whatever method they're going to use goes a lot faster. Yeah, because sharpening can be really brutal. Like I was mad. I was physically angry. Like I was, I was like sharpening in Maine. So here's hoping they don't have that experience. See, see if anybody rage quits today. Yeah, see if anybody like stomps out of here with like Jesse syndrome. And then I think Pat's already been working on some layout kind of quietly. Right. And it sounds like we have a bunch more planing to do. Uh, Cause I've been oversawing the dimensions, which right. is for planing. Cause then you're supposed to plane it down to dimension. Well, they've been not doing that. Right. So now some of them are too tall and some are too short because they've planed some of them and they didn't plane the rest of them. So now they have to go through and plane the rest of them. So apparently as soon as they start sharpening, like the power tools are going to come out and they're going to go to town on some of the stuff and try to get it down to dimension because we've You're got a joint. a quarter of an inch, right? Yeah, uh, it's right around there. I think three sixteenths right. or a quarter. Yeah. They've got a joint that's called a scarf joint where it, it actually comes together. And if they're not the correct dimension, the scarf will be just a train wreck. So <laughs> <laughs> this is our house. So we better be right. <laughs> no train wrecks. No train wrecks. In Maine, it's like, eh, it's not our house anymore. You're like, eh. <laughs> Are there any questions on the cut sheets at this point? That information that I just discussed is included on every single unique piece. So for the post, every post is unique. Every post has its own cut sheet. When you get to the rafter cut sheet, you'll notice that there's one cut sheet for all the rafters. They're all the same. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of a momentum shift now into sharpening. Hey Gabe, you ready to do a demo? This is what we're gonna use for our sharpening stone. It's a piece of glass. What we love about the glass is that it's inexpensive and always flat. The water stones are an excellent way to sharpen because it's a water-cooled system. The downside to, the, to, the, to those stones, while they, they cut very quickly by wearing themselves out. Okay, that's your honing grit. And the other side says P180, and that is your grinding grit. Most of you have brand new chisels, and so you're thinking, this is going to be a breeze. I don't have to do much. I can go right to my honing. Unfortunately, you have to get rid of that micro bevel on the grinding side, so you will start with a coarser stone. My name is Adel, um, so I'm really glad to be here. I just flew in from Singapore. Hi, I'm Jim from Philadelphia. My name is Matt, and I'm from Cape Creek, Arizona. Canada! <laughs> My name's Mike. I'm from Chicago. My name's Miles. Uh, I'm Gwen. I'm from Kentucky. I'm Bill. I dragged her with me. <laughs> uh, I'm Chris. Uh, I also live in Atlanta. My name is Braden Barber. My name's Paul. I'm from California. My name is Brett. I'm from uh, a small town, San Anselmo, California. <laughs> I'm Ryan. This is Kimberly. My wife. I'm gonna let you start. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Lloyd. I actually grew up in eastern Idaho. Yeah, my name's Bob. I'm from uh, Bray, California. I'm from Portland, Oregon. I'm a stained glass artist. I'm an electrical engineer by trade. Um, I'm a massage therapist. Uh, I'm a builder and remodeler there. And a hobbyist work woodworker. I run a international support team for an insurance company. Oh, I, I'm in commercial cabinetry. I'm an administrative assistant. I work in computer networking. I do uh, computer software. Custom cabinet maker by trade. I'm a police officer. And I bought uh, a beautiful cabin. It's an old one and it needs to be knocked down one day and now I'm so inspired to build a timber frame home. I mean, of course, they're living my dreams. I figured I could live a part of it with them and uh, maybe do it some other time my way, but that's why I'm here. I was hoping to take this course to learn the, the hand tool joinery aspect of it so I can incorporate it into some of the builds that I'd see myself doing. I found them because I wanted a timber frame a barn for our horses. What I want to do is create a timber frame house on 10 acres, a bunch of pine trees are dying from the pine beetles. So I was either going to have to cut them down and burn them, or I, I figured I'd saw them up and try a little timber frame. I have some far, or some farmland up north by in Canada, and I plan to build a house there and 
I thought timber framing would be the way to go. This is always something I wanted to do. I'd love to be able to do this someday when, when I'm not living in a place for three years and moving. This is my vacation to go build somebody else's house for me. <laughs> All right. So I'm in a cabin with a wood burning stove and no TV, and I'm just out here to have a really good time. So anyways, right now we're just kind of settling down. We're trying to figure out where we want to buy property. The main goal of it is we want to build everything in our house, including our house, ourselves. We've been wanting to do something like this forever, to have our own property and be self-sufficient. I'm tired of pissing my money away on trying to keep up with consumerism and all that stuff and I'm really into wanting to do passive solar and just kind of enjoy my life a little bit more than I do now. So. <laughs> I, I don't care about expensive jewelry. I like tools and, <laughs> and this kind of stuff and so this was a present from my husband. <laughs> I argued with myself for about 30 minutes before I signed up. <laughs> I found their channel, been watching ever since and then when they came up and said they wanted to do this so I was like yeah I'm gonna I, do I had a problem where I was trying to trench through some heavy gravel, rocky soil. And of course, you go to the internet looking for that, and the first thing I see is this guy with this big pipe like this. I was looking up something for a wood miser sawmill. I came across their channel from the insulated concrete forms. Uh, I do kind of find it humorous that we're all here for one particular reason, or because of one reason. I found the class because of the YouTube channel. I popped up on my YouTube channel because um, I was looking up tiny homes, and just architectural stuff. I think that's how you guys came up. I was looking at all kinds of building things. So anyway, welcome, <clears throat> and uh, we want you to have a very good time. <clears throat> and uh, that does require that you all accommodate each other. And now we're going to sharpen our chisels. All right, once you're in and just hitting that stop lock, you can actually remove the jig. This is a great time to slice yourself as you're sliding off parallel to the sharpened edge of the chisel. So a lot of people's chisels, you can actually see it on mine, when you sharpen, you can look and, I don't know, let me know if I need to turn that, but you can see where I've sharpened. It starts here and it's spreading down. When the whole thing turns the same like shade, then it's time to go to a different grit. How's the wet table doing? I think we're doing good. I'm interested to see this too. Just keep from How's is, how is orientation been going so far? Oh, it's great. <laughs> yeah, we're really excited about being here. Right. Is it pretty surreal coming around the corner and seeing the... It's almost like as though we've been here all, you know. It's like deja vu because we've been watching the, the videos for so long. So. When did you guys start watching? We started watching last April, so April of right. 2016. 
And you watch every video? Every video, we watched all of them. <laughs> and what was the big motivation to actually come out and participate in the Clash and Workshop? I don't know if there was any one thing. It was probably just, it's just the whole process. It's a, really similar to what we want to do ourselves. Right. And we really like the timber First frame structures and the timber it. frame house. Not, and, right. Yeah. So it was just perfect. <laughs> have you done anything like this before? Um, not the timber frame, but we have right. built a, like a small um, cabin for right. my sister, um, a barn for my parents, a storage shed for ourselves. Right. So we we've done small projects, but not like a whole right. house. Yeah. <laughs> and where are you guys? Where are you guys from? We're from Olympia, Washington. Olympia, Washington. Yeah. Washington. And who talked who into going, it, or was it a mutual? <laughs> it was kind of mutual, but I. We found out that they had a couple seats open, and I called her and I was like, "Hey, they got. Uh, I think at the time they said 18 seats. All I heard on the other end of the phone was buy two. Yeah. So. It was pretty much a mutual agreement. I got permission to spend money. It was awesome. <laughs> can you can you believe that at the end of the week there's going to be a whole? Oh, I know. That's just it's amazing. It's 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 cool. I'm excited. I still, to see yeah, it. I still can't can't believe that. Thanks for letting me harass you with the camera. Oh, no worries. Of course. <laughs> no worries. It'll happen again, I promise. Okay. Perfect. How are you gentlemen making out over here? Pretty good. That one's got a lot to go because it's got a Well it, it's cutting that one on the end though. Which one is yours hitting? Oh yours is a whole Well that looks yeah. gorgeous. Hold that up for me. Hold up your edge. Let me get a shot of that. This one or that yeah, one? Yeah, yours. One. Here, here. One sec. Is that what it's supposed to look like? I think he was saying it needs to be about like that much Mom. of the face. That's, of that was my understanding. All right. But then again, I've just been filming, so I don't really... Yeah. How did you meet Jesse and uh, Alyssa? Yeah, through YouTube. Yeah, just doing... So I do YouTube stuff as well, and they found some of my filming stuff, and then we've been connecting for months, and suddenly they're like, hey, we're doing this massive project. And we're gonna be really busy during it. You should you should you should come and film so that way we can not be stressed. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do. I, I primarily do like adventure film stuff, so I've, I haven't been building my own house. It's a uh, it's fun to come down here. I'm from British Columbia, so. And like, just just the fact that I'm actually here and looking at that is just oh, surreal. <laughs> Are we supposed to do the other tool as well? Do you the only trouble, yeah, the, basically the reason that you want to make sure there's a burr across the back is that you could be grinding away at everything but a microscopic amount on the very tip and not notice it. It's Gabe, right? Yes. So why is it important to make sure that, what's the, the device that's holding the chisel, is that the guide? What is that called? That is a honing guide. That is a honing guide. Yep. And why is it important to make sure that's set up correctly before you start <laughs> sharpening away at your chisel? <laughs> well, there's a couple of different things that can happen. If you're set in there crooked, then you'll create a crooked chisel. And we're basically right. looking for square ends. But also, if it's not tight enough in there, then while you're going through all these motions, each time it's moving to the left or to the right or backwards or forwards, and then you might as well just be going freehand, dragging your chisel down the road, because you're just creating random shapes. And if the honing guide's set up wrong, yeah. then you basically could be doing hours of work in the wrong direction. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> to reset it. Yeah. Is this your name right here? Yeah. I feel like everyone should have that on their sweater right now. I'm trying to learn everyone's names. Yeah, we hired a midwife. So how have you been making out over here? This morning. Oh, slowly. <laughs> why, why did you want to come to the workshop, Paul? Well, I just thought it'd be fun. Right. Yeah. Has, has it been fun so far? <laughs> yeah, so far. It's okay. But uh, the weather's been pretty nice so far. I think I just got ahead of myself, though. I started going the other side too soon. Okay. <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking at it? I just, it's just stunning how it's so organized uh, and how he explained that I could follow this one no message to your post number. and come over here and find each side of its face in its cut diagram for each individual post and beam. It's just, uh, it's overwhelming. <laughs> Have you done like building stuff before? Not for real or right. somebody's property. <laughs> Has anything been surprising to you so far or stood out to you or? No, it's just. It's really thrilling to see the actual layout of the property. Look at the, the layout, the light. As a photographer, you must be. Oh, I'm thrilled. It's just like all day long, beautiful photo yeah. ops, right? It's gorgeous. I mean, your face gorgeous. right now just... Really? You, yeah, you're like you a found the lighting to... where my, my face worked out? <laughs> well, send me that video then. That's a miracle. I'm moving here. <laughs>
I live in uh, two countries and I'm telling you, moving back to the U.S. is really exciting to be home. We have so much space and land. Okay. Uh, I've enjoyed teaching in Sim Singapore, right? But it's a tiny 60 mile wide island where this property would go for $40 million. <laughs> We live well here in our yeah. beautiful country. And it's fun to be able to build something with your hands and right. and uh, live in real freedom and enjoyment. We're really fortunate. I can't believe in five days we'll see it. The whole structure. Wouldn't that be crazy? Yeah. Yeah. How are things going over here? Something slowly. <laughs> trying to be meticulous. Trying to do it the right way. Right. So I'm getting just getting assistance. Oh. Now, without distracting you, can yeah. you remind me your name? Uh, I'm Bob. How does it feel to be here, Bob? <laughs> Surreal. <laughs> you, from seeing it on the screen to actually being here and seeing the actual size of the uh, the, the property and the building, it's uh, actually it's a lot bigger than uh, what you imagine on the in your head when you're right. looking at a screen <laughs> and uh, it, it, it's, it's nice being here seeing, seeing all the people from uh, other areas that uh, also follow uh, right fan i'm trying not to be fanboy on here <laughs> Right. Oh yeah, it's real tough. It's real tough. Um, but uh, it's it's exciting, and uh, the fact that I'm learning uh, another another trade and is just it's a blessing to be here. Right. It's a blessing to be here. Well, so what's really strange about being here is that since I've watched all their videos, uh, right. you know, for a year now, I. I, I know the property so well, you know, it's like, oh, I know, you know where the cistern is, I know the pipes and everything, and then to actually like, be here is what is surreal, you know, that I'm actually inside the video right. that I used to watch, you know, <laughs> like I'm now... I mean, like, like, what other times does that ever happen where you, like, watch videos of a property so many times in a row... And then you actually like go and just walk that property. Right, right. And then exactly. And then play in hand and actually building the house. <laughs> the house that I've been watching them build, you know. <laughs> right, exactly. That's why it's it's like weird because every little bit of this house over here, I I remember him, you know, laying the pour in the concrete or the foundation. Or, so it just feels really strange to be here and actually now in it. You know? yeah. so, it's right. fun seeing how diverse of a group that that brings together. Right, but we don't know each other. Yeah. Know? But we all know them, kind of. <laughs> you know? Yeah, for so, sure. Yeah, exactly. It's strange. Day one. <laughs> Day one. It's going to be a full week. week. doing it to keep their hands warm. We know if you get cold, you guys. <laughs> you will never, you will never hear that sentence out of my mouth. You getting close over here? Well, I made a new <laughs> I used that really coarse stone there and I've got these little nicks in the blade. Right. So I've got to grind those out. It's been a pretty crazy day. All the students arrived today and basically since then everything's just been moving at a pretty crazy pace for the orientation because they only arrived at around around noon and there's a lot to get through because they're packing two orientation sessions into one. And so the Shelter Institute people were just moving through a ton of edu education material, getting everyone associated with all the tools and just kind of briefing them on how this next week is gonna go. So it's been pretty surreal having all the students here. And probably my favorite part of the day was when everyone was introducing themselves and you just get to hear basically all the places from across the country and the world that these people are from but then what was probably even more so fun was the fact that all these people share something in common and the fact that they watch the YouTube channel, which is so cool. It's so fun hearing all the different little ways that people ran into Jesse and Alyssa's channel. Um, and basically the sun just tucked behind the hill and the temperatures dropped pretty quick and it's that time of day where things are gonna close up and people are gonna go get some rest and get ready for tomorrow because basically that's when, the, that's when the work starts tomorrow, cutting and all that begins. Hopefully you've been enjoying some of the footage I've been trying to grab for you guys, just kind of taking you in on this experience. Hopefully it hasn't been too disorienting for you, but uh, it's, it's hard to describe what this feels like, and I'm hoping 
just you're seeing the smiles on people's faces, you understand just how special it is, everyone getting to meet each other. It's, there's a whole nother, people aren't just here to learn, they're here to meet other people that they share something in common with. And that's, there's something special about that. So very successful first orientation day and looking forward to things starting off tomorrow. It's gonna be really good. Success. Here, let me uh, here, let me use my mark. No, there's some DNA on there. There you go. I see DNA. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. There's hair on there. Yeah, there's definitely hair hair on there. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, it's it's so on my finger now. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. That's a ball spot. That's uh, definitely a ball spot. You let's let's get a close up of this. <laughs> Oh, there's hairs all all over that Feel thing. Feel free to wipe that on your so what's your profession? <laughs> okay, sure. On that note, I'm going to actually try to socialize a little bit. <laughs> haven't talked good, to half the people idea. here yet. It's kind, of, it's kind of nice. You like get to know the people at your sharpening table, and then you Very get to well. uh, you yep. get to break, break out the next day. And, are you done over here yet, or what? Oh, we're supposed to finish? <laughs> oh, sun's down, we're good, we're done. <laughs> which chi which chisel number are you on right now? One. <laughs> yeah, only perfect. on one. Perfect. I like the determination. Yeah, you know what? What are we doing here, right? You gotta do it right. You gotta do it right. Do it once, do it right, get it done. How are you doing today? Yeah. It's Keeping a, up all right? Yeah, it's, it's been a pretty, uh, pretty good first day. Thankful so, no crazy people showed up. You never know when you're meeting a bunch of people from the internet. <laughs> It's kind of a very interesting uh, true point right there, you know? Who are you inviting to your house? <laughs> My goal is not to be that crazy person. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. exactly. So, Jesse? Yeah? How would you describe how today went? <laughs> Holy smokes. That's all I have to say. This is awesome. It's kind of funny because it's reminiscent of our visit to Maine. It was like, yeah, I don't know. It was like really cool to hear it all again, and but to see everybody really paying attention and I think everybody's on board to get this frame built, so um, I think everybody's ready. Yeah, it was it was pretty wild. Uh, no, it was really. I think it was really magical for Alyssa and I to just hear people's stories and how they all discovered this this opportunity and how different everyone's story was. I think it really punctuates what Alyssa and I've been working towards, and I think it, I, maybe you can agree with me that like the reasons that people came really was what we envisioned would happen. It just proves that the power of community is massive. And I don't think that when you truly build community, it knows distance. Having Levi film has been epic. <laughs> it has been like huge. I didn't really realize I, how much I could do I, without I enjoy cameras, filming, but. but I also feel a lot of anxiety that I'm focused more on filming than I am mm -hmm. wherever I'm at. I got to enjoy all the introductions and stuff, which was great. I got to pay yep. attention and I didn't have to worry. I mean, I know, Very true. I know Levi's on it like hot dog. So I'm just trying to play the, play the part. I'm just, just running around it. cameras. Like, yeah, I've been very impressed with the shelter <laughs> people. It's like, there's no, I mean, it, there's no doubt in my mind that they're going to, they've got it, guide it through, you know, they didn't just come out here and start hustling either. They right. went home to rest. Like that right. tells you confidence. It's mm -hmm. like, we need our sleep, right. you know, instead of like, Oh God. And all, they're all stressed out. And what's really cool about having all their staff here is that while this part of the staff's doing a, this part of the staff's over here, like cut and right. frame, like they're making stuff happen. So they're on it. I mean, Gabe and, um, Jeff, I think Yep. Jeff, they busted out those braces in like an hour and a half. <laughs> I was that would have them taken me days. <laughs> I really like everybody. <laughs> Fantastic. No crazy people. people showed up today, which is a nope. big win. <laughs> we're, at, we're at zero crazies so far. So In that's a, a bad way. Sign. There's some crazy people. There's some crazy people, people, but the right kind of crazy. Well, yeah. the right. No, thank you, Levi. The right kind of crazy. That's that's it. We're... I had some great conversations, and I look forward to meeting everyone else. I think we today wrap it was up? magical. Yeah. yeah. What a great day. It's cold. I can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> I think we should go rest. And I can't wait for some pizza. And we're out of ice cream. Ooh, ice cream. Gotta go. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, let's see that breath. How cold is it? What we love about the videos is what you guys show that is difficult. It's not like Canada. It's like not doing the common line on the ICFs. It's cold enough. It feels like if it if it starts raining, it would be snow. This slush is frozen. This is stuck to the table. Oh, there we go. I don't oh, wow. know if I can sharpen it on ice. Wake up the That's not good. Good news is this is sharp enough that I can kind of scrape the ice off. 
You can tell it's cold out this morning because nobody's just got their hands out. They're they're either doing something with their hands or they're in their pockets or gloves on or something. The girl, it's boy, girl, girl, boy. How about you? I got girl, girl, girl. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you have a male dog at least or something? Yeah, we have a male dog, but he's neutered, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one, one of you seems more prepared this morning, and I, I'm not going to say who's who's more prepared this morning, but <laughs> someone <laughs> seems either more prepared or more of a wuss. Which, which one are we settling with? I need gloves. <laughs> <laughs> one yeah. to two feet by Friday is what it said this are morning. Kidding? Yeah, so it starts snowing on Wednesday. <laughs> Learn my lesson with water stones in winter. <laughs> Is that, is that kind of just like advanced Lego instructions right there, or Pretty how does much. that go? Yeah, you have to be able to use a tape measure. It's not color coded. Like with Legos, it's like use the blue block. This makes for stupid easy timber. In this one, yeah, <laughs> stupid easy timber framing. That'll be the name of this video. This building has 12 posts, and we're going to assign two people per post. So here we have post number one. So it will have braces on this side, braces on this side. It's going to have a huge tool mortise for the beam. Two volunteers. A volunteer, and you are Jerry. Jerry. <coughs> so we're going to be, you know, writing your name on this post so that <coughs> on Friday when we're trying it's to put it together. <laughs> <laughs> post number two. You are Miles. Miles. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Eric. Eric. A little bit more challenging. Six. One. Mike and Jim. Mike and Jim. David and Braden will take number eight. David and Braden. Yep. I guess we'll get nine. <laughs> Alyssa was wondering if we could just take all the portable heaters and put them by our post. <laughs> Seems a bit futile to have them in here, given the fact that all the people are out there. I'm envious of the people with posts in the sun. Right? Where's your post? In the shade. <laughs> Did you know that as part of a timber framing class, you learn to sharpen a pencil? It's like the most like dehumanizing reality is that you spend your entire life thinking I mastered that in elementary school. And you pay a bunch of money to only find out that you've never known how to sharpen a pencil. You suck at it. Oh yeah. It's pretty good. So what happens the first full day of the workshop? What's everyone what's everyone out doing? I think they're gonna pretend to cut. <laughs> Because they're not going to really cut, because it's going to take them a while to get to that point. So they're going to learn to how to use learn how to use a pull saw, right. which is so different than a Western push saw right. that everyone's going to look like a bunch of drunk monkeys. Like, eh, eh. and then after a while, a few people are going to get it, and then they're going to learn how to use a square in a way they've never known before. And they're going to take these timbers, which look square, but they're not ish. And they're going to learn how to make a very square cut so that when we build our timber frame, it doesn't go like this. So everybody has to learn how to lay out the, uh, the details, which are given to them in this thick packet. But nobody should be cutting anything. So if you hear a mallet, run, scream, do something, because nobody should be cutting anything. Kind of bows in the middle. Wait, so let's figure out where to go. Actually, I told Gaius this morning, we'll take number five. For the most part, we're putting ugly. Boy decided to ask me, do I think of this as something that's ugly or something that's art? So do we want to hide it or do we want it on display? I don't know. 
<laughs> I love I, that. I kind of want to say, like, surprise us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what are you gentlemen figuring out over here? Squaring up the end, making sure it's... Nice and square, so when we pull our line down there to cut the thing, it's all square and looks good, you know. Just squaring stuff up, you know. <laughs> the heavier line, so that's why you always do like your first line. Don't say that the heavier You're looking at this. If this were an actual compass, and this was north, then this side should be east, and this side should be west. I think this should be the east side. Terrible. How nerve wracking. <laughs> What's that? Oh, the first pulls of the saw. Yeah. Forty seconds. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get me one of those saws. Yeah, and it's almost the the lighter you hold the handle. The less pressure you put on it, right. the faster it gets. That is the nicest cat I've seen today. Cool. Look at that. Wow. Ooh. How much is that? Do you think that's, that's a 16? Yeah. I think that's what's in there. Uh, oh, that. That's closer to me. I don't know guys, that's, I don't know if we've got tolerance for that. <laughs> See that right there? I don't know. That's a 16, might have to get gas over here. Ooh. It looks good so far. Let's see how it looks this way. Looks good. Nice. It's crazy how, like, I got, I got to watch your first cut. And uh -huh. your first cut versus that cut, like just first how... First cut was terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, eh? Which which number of cut is that today for you? Four? Four? Five? Yeah. Well, if you count all these end cuts that he's done, like eight. Right. So, it's getting warm. <laughs> yeah, it's a, lot, it's a lot nicer with the sun out, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, so we're here this morning. First full day of the workshop. Things started off pretty cold this morning, but thankfully as the sun's come up, it's uh, warmed up a lot. First order of business this morning was getting everyone acquainted with their with their squares. They're basically making sure all those foundational skills are sorted out, so that way when things actually start getting cut, the, the cuts are actually gonna be square. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun watching people learn how to use these different saws where you kind of used to push saws here in North America and these Japanese saws have a, have a pole where the angle of the teeth are so it's a little bit disorienting and fun to watch people figure out their first few saw strokes with but it's pretty incredible by the third fourth cut that they've done they get the hang of it really quick so it's been fun to watch really fast progress this morning and uh, now now a lot of progress is being made and chisels are coming out and these joints are starting to actually be prepped and the, and the beams are being cut to length and the posts are being cut to length there's a lot going on here. Yeah, so again, my, my name is Levi and I'm hoping to be able to just kind of share the experience with you guys on how things are all going with, with, this, with the students that are here and also just the workshop as a whole. Yes, yeah, Jesse and Alyssa are just participating themselves and, and playing a pretty key part in making all this happen. So I'm, I'm thankful to be able to, to help document all this. Hopefully you're enjoying the journey so far. How are things going? Doing well, doing really well today. So we are triple check the measurements. We're ready to go. This will be the front center beam of the house. So we gotta make it look good, right? <laughs> no kidding. Have you been learning anything today so far? No. 
<laughs> Quite a bit actually, so no, it's doing really well. Oh, we learned a couple things, keep things square, you know. <laughs> How many test cuts did you did it take to start to get the hang of the, the pole saws? Well, actually this one was already cut for us, so that works out. <laughs> so you haven't done a single cut today yet, no. or what? Nope. <laughs> we just measured and stuff. You guys are lucky. Yeah. <laughs> but now we're going to finally cut some wood. So tear some stuff off. You want me to do that? Well, I was like, what do you, what do you want to do? I, I was going to say, I can cut, I can do any or all of the above. If uh, I was going to try just one or two, just to see, since I spent four extra hours sharpening this stupid yeah. thing last try night, thing. I'd like to see if it does anything better at all. The scoring is for the slick. So when okay. you score, you want to be right on your okay. pencil lines. Okay. Okay. But then when you start chiseling, you want to be an eighth of an inch away from the line, and that is your bumper. That's your protection. Right. Yeah, yeah. So that you don't end up scarring this wood that's staying yeah. on the side. Yeah, got some visitors this morning. You want to take some wax? Sure. Oh, I think we got the knot here. We are uh, chiseling away the waste for a tenon that will go 15 inches into a beam. And it's a freaking honking huge tenon. Is it fun to have the chisels out? Yes. yes. <laughs> you got it. There it goes. Ta da! I cannot say a bad thing about these chisels. You did a good sharpening yesterday? I just shaved my arm. It's bleeding. An hour and Hour and a half I've been pounding Probably on this an thing. An hour and a half, yeah. And you and, you and I just shaved it. hair and it sliced the top layer of skin off. Are you guys having fun over here? Is it good having the chisels out finally? Oh, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A little bit more enjoyable than sign. Sure. <laughs> so now this is a mount that you you put together yourself, right? Yeah, it's just a maple head. Yeah. Jatoba handle. It's not glued together. I expected this thing to fall apart. Well, this is day one. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. I want to see a close up of that. Do you think that'll just continue to recess in until? Well, it's going to compress it the wood until yeah. it really can't compress anymore. Right. Yeah, it's going to get to a point where it'll stop or it'll split. Yeah. Whatever. One will happen first. Can you feel a difference in your hand hammering with something like that than a rubber mallet? Like, do you feel the? Let's give it a try and see. Does it feel different? They're both. I mean, they're both similar. You want to try this? It's, yeah, it's gonna take some getting used to. It's a lot longer, so. That one's got a little more bounce to it, but right. it certainly takes out the, yeah. the waste as easily as this one I does. I have an though. old wooden mallet from my grandfather. Oh, wow. And it was all beat up and screwed, you know, together. And so yeah. I was like, you know, I'm gonna make one for the class. No kidding. Yeah. Has the curtain ups on her own again? <laughs> yeah. He's like, sure. Nice. <laughs> he made Want. that. Want. <laughs> so cool. What's going on this morning is that everyone has finally started chiseling and by finally I mean they're very excited to get into the chiseling. All of the layout on the post seems to be right. done and it's kind of an exciting time to start digging into the wood. The joinery is only going to be as accurate as the layout is. And the layout is only as accurate as the squareness of the timber so it sort of goes back to that. But Getting getting the feel of accurate joinery on a piece of wood, or pardon me, accurate layout on a piece of wood is a little bit awkward. Right, and, right. Uh, it's just really important because if, it's, if the layout is not accurate, then the, the cuts are not going to be accurate either, obviously. Right. You know what I find funny is that often people's very first cut is excellent. And they, and obviously that's a great morale boost. Right. But then the second, third, fourth, and fifth cuts are terrible. <laughs> and then the seventh, eighth, the ninth right. cuts are come back around again. But it is very funny often to see. It almost I cringe when I see someone get a perfect cut the first time because that's rare. And often the second cut is nowhere near as good. So some of them are working on mortises. That's the hole into the wood. And some of them are working on the tenons. And that's the Audi. Oh, this needs sharpened. You guys are just finishing this side up. Yes. Yeah. And then you got the other side. Yeah. <laughs> so beam five was too easy. Now, now you're on to the next one. Yeah, it was putting me to sleep. We thought we'd look for something we could screw up even worse. What's really cool is at the end of this whole thing, we have this huge 15 amp eraser called a planer, and it just makes mistakes. They're history, and there's no evidence. It's, it will look something like this 
and you will not be able to prove that anyone made a mistake. What have you got here, Paul? Popcorn. <laughs> I, I would be hard pressed to find another job site that has popcorn on it. And this is the first time it's ever been made here. <laughs> it's quite a treat. <laughs> Once you get that flow down, it becomes a little easier. Oh my goodness, those teeth are aggressive, eh? Uh-huh. That's crazy. <laughs> and there we go. There we go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Is that not cool? It's so, so aggressive. Yeah. Just be careful on your uh, lines and you're doing good. Okay. So yeah, we gotta watch for that. See where it cracked? Yeah, exactly. We wanna stay above that line. That's fun, man. <laughs> How many more timbers do you have to lay up today? As many as I can, for sure. So Alyssa and I are trying to hammer out all the the floor joists that have mortises in them. Right. Um, because they're gonna hit them with the chain mortiser and get them hogged out. That way that speeds up what they're doing right. by like a lot. <laughs> did, you, did you see some jaws drop when uh, yeah. <laughs> they realized they're, they're, yeah, they're chiseling like, out mortises and then they see the, the wow. power tool. An hour worth of time with this wow. is three minutes with that. Or a couple, yeah, it's obscene. Yeah, yeah it's just makes you angry. But I think you have to understand the, what, the, what the hand tool does to appreciate the power tool. Because if you right. start with power tools, you'll never understand what it is that you're even saving. So. How did sawing go? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah? That was good did to get you, a hand at it. Did you do a whole cut? I did a whole cut. Very I nice. did, It didn't have to be a square cut, which is very handy. That's the next step. Yeah, that's the next step. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're now midday here. Everyone's kind of gotten a hang of doing their tenons and their mortises and laying out lines on the on the timber. It's pretty cool just watching everyone get to work, all the, just working away. Everyone's doing their own little project. It's pretty incredible what having multiple sets of hands can really help accomplish. But uh, I think everyone on day, first full day one, has a, a healthy sense of appreciation of the amount of, the amount of work that's gonna need to, <laughs> occur across the, the, the several coming days to be able to get to a point where they're raising a frame right here. But it's still so cool to just like see all these details and just be here in person after watching videos, you know, of Jesse and Alyssa trying to get sill plates level on the foundation and just all the, all the craziness they've gone through to get through the stage. It's so much fun to actually just like kind of see this stuff in real life and get a whole another sense of appreciation for it. Yeah, I think for the most part, people are just gonna continue working away on their tenons and mortises, uh, at least getting them roughly cut out and then coming back and cleaning them up across the next couple days. Lots of progress to be had. How are you making out over here? Real good. Slow process. The hand is starting to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Since you know there's a machine right over there that in two seconds can do this. <laughs> you can plug it right in. But you would have zero appreciation of the machine if your hand didn't hurt right now. Exactly. So. Have you ever done chisel work on a beam this big before? No, I have not. I've done six by six work right. with power tools. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Jesse was talking about how uh, to approach building a whole home from the start would be just really intimidating. Yeah. But then 
if you just tackle each problem at a time and just give it due attention, it's like, you know, you can solve each problem as it comes. Yeah, yeah. It's break like, it down into steps. It's a good point. It's a variation of eating an elephant, you know, one bite at a time. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Moving too fast, then it could really rip the. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Can it backlit? I bet. Yeah. Watching. Oh, the light probably comes through the curl, huh? Yeah. Maybe not that one. But. <laughs> no, that's that's not a fine curl. I'm I'm like digging, but. What are you working on over here? Brace mortise. Brace mortise. Yeah. I'm hogging it out with my chisel. If you had to estimate, how many of those have you hogged out in your in your lifetime so far? Rough estimation. Ten seconds to think about it tops. <laughs> Come on, throw out a number. Nowhere near as many as Gaius or Pat. <laughs> if you had to guess how many uh, mortises you've hogged out in your in your lifetime. Thousands. Thousands? Well, like thousands. tens of thousands? Are you? No, I've never thought about it. <laughs> but just this class, I teach uh, five times a year, and uh, that's five buildings a year, and they must have about a hundred mortises you know, in each class, and I probably do 25 of them. And then on top of that, we do 20 other homes that we build for people around the country. You know, thousands. <laughs> <laughs> How many times do you do the class on location like this? Rarely. We did one in North Carolina. We did another one in Northern Maine. I think three in 45 years. We've done three on location. Then we've done hundreds in our on, on campus. We have a 90-acre campus. I mean, why would we leave it? It's beautiful. <laughs> it's a good question. Why would you? <laughs> it's on the Atlantic Ocean. It's fabulous. But sometimes people talk us into something, and this couple are really good talkers. I mean, this all happened overnight. I think it was like six weeks ago that we decided to do this. Right. It's a little crazy to be doing something this late in the season. And I think we'll find that out on Friday. <laughs> no, they're a delightful couple. And this whole new world of YouTube that I don't even know. Right. I've never even looked at YouTube. Yeah, last night somebody showed me two seconds of it. First time I've ever <laughs> looked at it. YouTube is a relatively new thing. <clears throat> and. Uh, Having people going back to the land is apparently all new again. Right. This is the third generation that I've seen do it. Right. <laughs> you know, my parents were the first hippies in the 1950s. They right. did exactly this. Right. And then my wife and I did it again. <clears throat> my children did it again. And uh, here these young folks are doing it. And it's lovely. It, it's yeah. good that humanity is not permanently changed. <clears throat> Right. You know, we're able to cycle back to our to this this kind of route. Right. And uh, watching the news, it looks more like humanity is permanently changing <clears throat> towards some of the to automaton type of uh, existence. And these people are uh, defying that. It's great. <laughs> Enough muffins today? You know, there's supposed to be grown up food. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I just keep walking by and I think the convenience keeps getting me. Are you having fun, dude? Dude, this is great. I, I intentionally, like, like I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Clearly. Like, I would, I would say I'm facially aware as far as how things get made. Like, yeah. like beyond just the average person. And I was trying to picture in my head, I was like, yeah, like how is a whole frame going to go up held just by joinery? Because mm -hmm. I haven't done any research into right, that. Right, so there's no screws. So there's no screws, and I know how like dovetail joints work, so I've like seen joinery before, but I was just trying to picture what it was going to be like when you have a whole frame of a house. And the funny thing about these joints is they're so big. I think that's what I actually love about timber framing. Right. 
you work with lumber, it's always moving. Like you're trying yeah. to cut it and it's like, oh, what are we doing over here? You know, you're trying to cut yeah. it. These beams are so fucking big that you can whack on them really hard with a big stick and a mallet and they don't even budge. Like actually seeing the mortises and the tenons, two words that I learned today, actually seeing those get made, it's like, well, hey, this is how it's going to go together. So, yeah. Oh, that, all, that actually all makes so much sense. Right. And then weight and gravity and the forces of things pulling against each other, that's what's going to hold the joints together. Oh, it just makes sense. That's the kind of general feel you've been getting from everybody. Is the energy kind of tapering down a little bit? People are kind of coming back to reality? I'm not sure how their energy level is. <laughs> we'll wear them out. I, I, feel like, I feel like they've been chiseling it all day yeah. and they're, start, they're starting to show it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, there's been some discouraging looks when they think they messed something up pretty good. And then Gaius yeah. always comes over and goes, oh no, you're fine. So right, ha like I haven't seen any big mess ups for real yet. So nice. we're, we're still due for a few of those. What's funny is the post, it, it, I, can, I told you this earlier. Yeah. At the end of the day, people will look at what they've achieved today and they'll think, Friday. This is going up on Friday. Right. Right. But they're working on the most tedious the most difficult, most comprehensive pieces in the whole frame. Right. And once you get to the floor joist, on the end is just a dovetail tenon. That's it. And it'll take and but but the experience of hogging out these joints and working on the and getting the flatness and getting all that stuff will serve them well once they get to this repetitive stuff and they'll almost like blow through it. But it's kind of fun to see that confidence like come. Right. Because I was there too. I was the guy who was like, right, I got that mortise done today. Like to my name, eight hours, that hole of wood. <laughs> All those chips, me, eight hours. This is never gonna happen by Friday. And it'll happen. Organic apple cider. And if you don't drink some... There's apple cider? Why am I filming? Let's get some apple cider going here. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Done. Oh. Hold on. Oh, you're gonna put my name on it. Yeah. They did it mommy style. Aww. <laughs> How's today been? Long. <laughs> Long. Beautiful. <laughs> Fun. Long and beautiful. Have you done this type of work with chisels before? Um, not a full timber frame, but I have used wood chisels, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. None. None for you? <laughs> None for me. She's a newbie. What is it, what has it felt like to learn it today? Uh, pretty fun. It was a, a little bit more difficult to get through the wood than I thought it was going to be, but it, right. as I got used to it, I, uh, it got better. <laughs> so, right. yeah. Yeah, it got easier. Right. And it's because it's kind of corroded steel, it's got like pitch and stuff on it. You can drag it through here, like this. And it'll leave like little marks on the wood where it's high. Right. So, like right here, it's a little high. And I'm talking like tiny bits. Um, so, I can just take a little bit off right there, and it'll fit even better. Just like that, the sun's going behind the hill. All this work's gonna come to an end in, in just a moment or two. I mean, you look really beautiful right now, but oh, thank you. give it 10 minutes and you'll just look like a guy in dark light. That's the best light I like. <laughs> Do you have any golden hour comments? Um, no, it's 
cold. <laughs> it's getting colder without the sun. Anything you want to say about golden hour before it disappears? Nope. Just that it's beautiful. <laughs> Happy hour? Golden hour. It's it's golden right now and we're gonna lose it in ten minutes. Oh gotcha. So if you got anything inspirational to say, now's the time to say it. <laughs> I thought you said happy hour. I don't know. That's, that's cool. uh, <laughs> I lost. I was talking with my friends here about uh, being off grid, and uh, I think it's a, it's a good way to think about the future. I guess the answer to your question is no. I don't have anything inspirational. Do you have any inspirational quotes to say as the sun disappears? I I feel like you have been saving a quote all day, and we're gonna lose that sun in three minutes. It's golden. <laughs> it's been built here. Like. Have you done this before? No. Your pockets work pretty dang good. I butchered mine, so you want to feel good about your work in my pocket. Huh. Is this one pretty good, Jesse? Or do you recommend? I don't know. I mean, I, maybe you can flatten it from there. Okay. And if it's wrong, just put Bob on it. <laughs> I'm writing Bob anyways because it's ugly. <laughs> Bob's over there putting Jesse on everything. In like, hopefully, like 500 years when our house comes down, people are going to be like, who the heck's Bob? <laughs> Bob was a very poor <laughs> workman. So, awesome. how'd today go? Awesome. How come? Because we got a lot done and we didn't kill ourselves yeah it was just fun right. and it wasn't like miserable weather which is also always nice working in the sunshine is lovely how about you did you get lots of good shots yeah i mean it's fun going from having done nothing with the timber to suddenly everyone's laying down lines and and going at it with chisels. I love just going around and seeing each person making incremental progress on each one. Yeah. Which is so fun. Yeah. It's great. And also just see the skills develop up. And, and we, you know, we're and so timid techniques. initially. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, we got it. Let's go. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I want. I'm curious now what the rest of the week is going to feel like. Like, what is the rest of the activity is going to be? I'm just yeah. genuinely curious. Is it going to be like this times? How many more days? So we're at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So three more days of this, and then Friday's putting the thing up. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think the next two days will just be accelerated. We're going right. to be probably using more uh, electrical tools and that mortise machine and everything, yeah, right. so we can more qu quickly get these parts ready. Yeah. Right, and then just slick, basically going around and slicking all the mortises and pins. Yeah. So you too? <laughs> huh? Huh? Pat said to put the chisels down. I heard him talking. I figured he said something to that extent. There's someone here to hold you accountable to not oh. working insane hours. I feel that we made great progress. I feel today. like everybody was busting their hump. Um, Man. I feel like everybody was working. You know what and I like to see? We're working on stuff I wouldn't think we'd. We were, we're working on stuff yeah. that in Maine I feel like we're working on Thursday. It's like Thursday, yeah. I mean, I know we still have a long ways to go, but I feel like everyone worked really well today. Well, these elves aren't nocturnal like the ones we're in Maine, no. so this is like way more inspirational too. I like to see people like tail up, head down, chisel deep in the beam. Exactly. <laughs> what you doing in there? <laughs> I got to see a lot of smiles today though, I'll tell you that much. A few tears, a few huh, and then a couple of like, yeah. That moment after digging in a piece of wood for like three hours when you poke through and you're like, yes! <laughs> I'm through. <laughs> there is a god. Or, the, or that moment where you feel you mess something up big time and then Gaius comes by and tells you that it's actually going to be yeah. okay. <laughs> Gaius is like... I saw a few of those moments today. He's like a comforting father. He's like, it'll be okay, son. It's just wood. And you're like, oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> what a good day. This has been awesome. It's and a really good crew. Yes. Yes. It's people work. I, I was wondering how surreal it must be for you to have like just milled these logs and then you're boring like I know, right? mortises into them. Just got like, done making a mountain of sawdust and look at this, we're making more chips and sawdust and chips. It, this is wild. I can't, yeah. It's, it's, it's surreal. I don't even, yeah. This was a log. This was round with bark. I think my favorite moment is just stopping and looking up. Yeah. And all you see are people working, sawdust flying everywhere, people smiling. Is it time for dinner? Dinner time. I've been dreaming yeah. of sweet potato fries. How'd it go today? Like honest feedback.
Bye, guys. I'll get a few more. Bye. Bye. Ooh, look at that sunset. See you tomorrow. Or actually tonight. Just kidding. Good morning. Not even up the driveway and you already got a camera on you. Beautiful. <laughs> so the theme of today is hurry, winter is coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, now why would that be? Because we're not in Game of Thrones, are we? You know, is that a Game of Thrones reference? I think that's why people say it, but like winter is actually coming. <laughs> like tomorrow. And so I keep looking at the forecast. And pretty much all you see is snow. I see a lot of snow on there. I think that means work as hard and as long as you can today, just in case, because weather could slow us down. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Jesse, yeah. winter is coming. I know, right? So yesterday we were working on pockets over here, except we realized that we should leave some for the other students. So Jesse and I are learning how to lay out scarf joints. So I think we're gonna learn that a little bit and then we're gonna double check everybody's work because if the tenon is like a quarter inch off or not even that or if it's not square, yeah. it won't fit. So the way Pat explained it is imagine putting a couple of posts up there, setting a huge beam on top of it and then putting the braces in and nothing fits and you have to bring it all back down again. That's a really big deal. <laughs> So in, in class, it's a little easier because you assemble everything on the ground and the components are much smaller. Right. So if something doesn't fit, you just take your chisel, now it fits. So Scarf joints this morning. Scarf joints. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I think it's only appropriate to be called a scarf joint. Totally, during right? During the summer, it should be called a bikini joint. Brayden, you've been sleeping in a tent? In a tent. I've been sleeping in a tent. I was toasty warm last night. You're a diehard, man. I was warmer last night than I was that's because it was warmer last night. <laughs> kind of nice being able to get started on your beams without any frost to scrape off. <laughs> so Miles, did you run into a knot there? Or? <laughs> Look at that pretty tenon. Wow. It's looking pretty good. Have you ever made tenons this big before? <laughs> I built a workbench. Uh, not that big, but uh, two inch by three and a half inch tenons. Yeah. Uh, how's your mustache doing today? Uh, can I, I actually a, haven't even looked in the mirror. Can so. I get a close up? Let's, yeah, let's get at it. Let's see right there. It looks present. It, it's uh, like I rubbed a little dirt on my face. <laughs> I'm assuming. I haven't even looked in the mirror this morning. So how do, how do all your arms and joints and wrists and hands feel after Actually, yesterday? Mostly, okay, my wrist is a little sensitive, right. but um, I did wake up with like either a tension headache or a migraine this morning. Right. And I think it was a migraine because the migraine medication is working. Okay. But other than that, I, I'm mostly good. I am finishing this damn mortis today. I'm at depth. I'm at depth, so now I just have to finish getting my Right on. So when we go to put it together in the pouring rain, <clears throat> we're not going to want to have to stop because it won't go together. And <clears throat> shave a little bit here and a little bit there. So you set it at two or three quarter, like so. And then the framing square is two inches, so we're going to add <clears throat> two more inches, which makes it four and three quarter. And then we simply <clears throat> ride this thing all over the tenon. I want the square to touch at both ends. So right here, <clears throat> there's quite a hump in the middle of this one. 
And this is no criticism of whoever it is that did this one. <laughs> They're all going to be like this. It's just something that you need to learn to do. It basically makes it impossible to put the building together <clears throat> if these things aren't done exactly that way. This brace is going to be coming in like so, and we need the bottom here to be square. go in with some resistance all along, you know, test it every inch all the way across. All right, we're doing well, I think. <clears throat> the, uh, it's uh, 9.30. <clears throat> I think that by 12, we should have all of the mortises done. I'll, I'll just keep doing this all morning. So this afternoon, we should have, be able to fine tune every single joint. Any questions, comments, or worries? Charge! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where the camera is. That's how used to you being here we are. <laughs> I remember having it in my pocket one day. Hey, there's my cookies from like a week ago. Would no they be idea. in the trailer? It might be. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Bob, yes. you were obviously very excited on day one. Yes. You were very excited on orientation day, I should say. Now that we're on day two of chiseling, how is your excitement level holding up? Uh, I'm still waking up at five o'clock in the morning, going, <laughs> am I gonna do it? Am I still here? Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> More importantly, I haven't been banned from the job site, so I'm, I'm, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> What's been the most enjoyable part so far? Just learning a new skill. Right. And uh, trying to get to the point where I can yeah, I hope you, cut hope you things the and do it so on the line, today. Uh, doing Wait, it properly the way right. that I was <laughs> taught. And it, it helps that I had uh, uh, the shelter people my dad's running around getting watching cool over me, making stuff. sure that uh, what I'm doing is proper. And, uh, and they let me know when I've Told done wrong. Too, uh, and it's, it's good, because <laughs> really? uh, that's the only way you learn, right? right. This is mine. Oh. <laughs> If anything, the middle's a little low, even though it's not smooth. You still have... I got like really close to the line without... It's gotta be... Well, <laughs> it should be a scored line and then you should be going, cutting clean to, to it. Yeah. Okay. So how are you doing this morning? Good. Can't complain. A little sore from yesterday. <laughs> now why would that be? But it's been fun. It's really enjoyable. The weather isn't as cold as I was expecting. You know, us southerners have this idea that everybody in the north is living under blizzard conditions all the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. So for the folks at home who aren't here right now, what's something about actually being present at Jesse and Alyssa's property that has been either a surprise or something that you didn't expect or specifically geographically I guess the scenery is nice it's uh, this is I, I totally understand the Pacific Northwest living right you know it's cool having all these people here I'm glad I came my wife actually convinced me to come <laughs> I was kind of on the fence and right. she was like, you need to go. It's always something you wanted to do. So, And what makes this different is that you're actually building a house. It's not, uh, you know, kind of a, a mock-up or a, a small house. This is you know, somebody's home. You're going to be able to live in it. Or not us, of course, but they're going to live in it. So that, you know, was a little more enticing than just doing a regular class. Well, how are you guys making out over here? Doing pretty good. Slow but sure. That's right. I guess that's the one plus side about working with hand tools is <laughs> yes. you, if you make mistakes, you make them slowly. Well, you that's hope right. that's what you do. Yeah, you hope that's what you do, right? <laughs> exactly. I think I've been surprised with how precise every single mortise and tenon needs to be. It's really tight tolerances. Oh yeah, I got a lot more respect for these timber frame homes now. Gonna do it, put all this work in, better do it right.
you can see I'm a little bit high here still, but then there I'm pretty much good. Here I'm good. So taking it down slow and slow and slow. How are you guys doing over here today? Superb, how are you? Yeah, good. <laughs> it's slow progress, but it's good progress. Right. What's been the most challenging part so far? Just making the tools do what I want them to do. Right. Exactly. Because yeah. I know we drew well. I know. The drawings were nice, but just getting the, the tools to conform to my expectations. To bend in my will. <laughs> exactly. You scored this side, Kelly? I don't think so. Were you saying that you plan to actually build build your own timber frame place at some point? Yeah. We want, we're looking for land right now and that's the idea is to, to get a building up to live in. We have uh, kids that we can put to work and stuff. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Slave army. <laughs> Miles, Miles, Miles has got a grin on his face again. Yeah, it's a little bit more tedious than yesterday. How close are you on this uh, tenon? Uh, within a sixteenth or an eighth, I guess. Do you have projects of your own back home that you're hoping to work on? Yeah, I'm building a workshop right now, actually. And uh, I was thinking about doing the frame out of this, maybe. But there's no permits involved in that. <laughs> Just gonna do it. Yeah. No but kidding. Eventually I'll do a house, yeah. Do you want to mill your own timber and stuff too, or do you want to just yeah, buy could, the timber? I bought a saw, a saw mill. Yeah, right. Woodland mills and just do Right. It. Should work, I don't know. How it's, long not a, it's not a wood miser, but. Right. How long have you been right. following Jesse and Alyssa? Uh, I don't know, maybe the last eight months or something. Right, how come? Because I, I, I was wanting to build a house and I have no idea what I'm doing. I figure I could follow them. Right. Because it feels like they're just kind of doing it by the whim too, eh? Right. So. Does that give you a bit more confidence for your own project? Yeah. I could see them screw up before I screw up. So. <laughs> it works out. It's fun coming to the States, too. So I asked you what the hardest part was and you changed your mind? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> it was when Kelly looked down at that and said, that's eight and a half inches. <laughs> I get confused. Are you supposed to look at the camera? <laughs> or look at you. Is it supposed to be eight and a half inches? It is. And how far are you right now? The dimension on this is accurate. Right. That's what surprised her. That's all I have to say about that. Magic Thailand. So how are you doing over here? I'm doing all right. I tend to get the naughty ones. <laughs> I feel like that's what everyone's been saying. Yeah. Oh, mine's got more knots than everyone else's. Oh, bother. <laughs> No, this wood cleans up real well. You're just checking for high spots there, yeah? Yeah. Rubbing off a little bit of the... Yeah, so as long as I'm getting marks here, this is at the correct height, and then it's a matter of taking off any other black spots between the edges. Right. And a little at a time. Wind is a four letter word. It's a four letter word, man. This is why we want to get done with this house. We're tired of polishing a turd and building temporary crap and I don't know, it's just hard lesson we've learned is 
things that aren't permanent just aren't permanent no matter how much you want them to be like we thought maybe our tent would last through the winter and it's predecessor did the exact same thing one year ago <sighs> we got to get our rv in the garage has to happen otherwise we're gonna drown and freeze to death it's nothing like your roof blowing off to motivate you to get your house done Okay, so we're out here for another beautiful day of timber framing. Again, I'm Levi, and I'm hoping to be able to take you along on the experience. Jesse and Alyssa are right in there, hands-on. We've got so much to do. So it's actually, I'm really thankful that I'm able to help them out with this so they don't have to be as stressed, because they've just got a lot going on. And so far, this is the second full day of the workshop, and it's been kind of cool seeing everyone build up the foundational skills and now just like implementing them and uh, just getting the stuff continually checked by the shelter people to make sure that things are actually lining up. And I think one thing that struck me this morning was just how absolutely precise within an eighth and a 32nd of an inch and even tighter that things need to be if this whole frame is gonna to come together successfully. There's a whole extra level of difficulty with the raising of this frame because it's on that level of the garage already. So it's already gonna be higher up and not as easy to manage everything. And so you can tell, you can tell Pat and the guys at, at Shelter Institute are definitely aware of the challenge they're up against and, and moving things along at a pretty, pretty good pace here. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how everything comes together. So far, the progress has been fantastic. The only issue is as we look at weather, the weather is not promising at all for later in the week. And so the, the shelter people are definitely a little bit concerned about weather and so are Jesse and Alyssa. Yeah, we've been getting teased all day by crazy weather just happening all around us with winds kind of coming up and down. The mornings have started off pretty cold and today's been a pretty moderate day. Just in general, that sun hasn't really made its way out. Yeah, everyone's been working really hard and it's fun hearing about the projects that they have working on at home that they're trying to gather skills for to take back to whatever they're working on. and. You know, these are just my kind of people, you know, people that love make, making things and have a passion for, for building stuff with their hands and it's cool. So it's, it's a great group. Everyone's kind of showing their colors a little bit more today. Hopefully we can make tons of progress by the time today ends so that way, so that way things can move along just fine by the time we get to Friday because it's showing a lot of snow for Friday right now, which is not encouraging. Pat, yeah. uh, Jesse's got a question for you. Yes. I was curious. I just a suggestion, if we might be able to take the thinking out of the shelter slogan, if we could just make it build and live, and maybe put some eating in there, and then maybe some filming and some other things, just to get the thinking out of there. They could just be eating, filming, building, and living. Wouldn't that be great? Well, nothing would succeed if you didn't think first. Fair enough. <laughs> Most of what does get built has the thinking last or not there. That's Arch. why everything is so screwed up. <laughs> it's, this is where the term afterthought. Yes. Is that not, not correct? It's an expression. It's so common. I think it's why we have people moving into houses that have been pre-built for them. So they didn't think. Wait. It was build, live, and then they don't even have to think. Right. I follow. See? I see what you did there. And I'm getting back to work. Right. <laughs> So I had originally sharpened this chisel. The top bevel is 25 degrees. And it was really sharp for 20 minutes. And then it would just start gouging and gouging and gouging. And what it was doing was rolling the edge of the chisel because it was too shallow of an angle. So I used Aaron's diamonds and I honed this to a 30 degree angle and then brought it back up to a mirror polish. So there's actually two completely different angles there. And I'm hoping this will hold an edge longer than 20 minutes pretty proud of myself because yeah. this took me seven hours and it took me 20 minutes. <laughs> How's today progressing? I have no idea. <laughs> I do hear progress. You got beans going on. The ladies here are very talkative, so I assume there's a lot of work going on. Gabe, I see that Gabe got shoot out because he wasn't doing anything. But I do know that Gabe promised if we raised the frame on Thursday that he'd take us all to the water park. I'm there's hoping. a water park here. Yeah, I don't think it's open, but <laughs> I'm sure Gabe has enough pull in this community that he'll have the water park open if we can get it up on Thursday, you know what I mean? So, Actually, I think today's flying because they're moving floor joists up, and uh, Brad over here cut like half the floor joists, so that's good. 
Okay. Like 100% of the floor joists. All of them. He cut all the floor joists. Mm -hmm. So whenever you're walking on the floor, say thank you, Brad. Yep. I think it'll go up on Friday. Does anybody else think it's going to go up on Friday? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it will. All right. See, that's changed because two days ago it was like, that's going to go up on Friday? <laughs> Plus, you found your lenses, so now I can get back to work. You did? I found my lenses. Oh. Don't ask where they were. Oh. Everyone, don't ask where they were. Round of applause. So Levi found his lenses. Where were they? So I might have lost my lenses at some point today and wasted a good half hour, hour of my own time looking for it. And I reached a point where I thought, yeah, they're definitely gone. So then I started soliciting help from some other people. And uh, I went back and triple checked the van where I knew they weren't. And they were. They were in my bed, wrapped up in my blanket, because because where else should I put my lenses? Flex, Gabe, flex! Can you show me the inside of this tarp situation on your on your trailer? Can you can Maybe. you walk me through what happened? Jesse was exclaiming his frustration, but didn't really outline exactly what happened. Three hours ago now, we were like, you know what? Once we get the frame up, we'll probably relax a little bit. If we winter over in this, it's okay. Right. And then 30 minutes after that, this wind gust came and our RV garage ripped along the seam at the top. And we were wondering if that was gonna happen again this year, because it happened last summer. The sun, I think, just beats down on it, and it's kind of like the weak link. Right. The whole thing, yeah, just ripped. So last summer, we had to pull the RV out, order a new cover. It's a big deal. And we don't want to replace it. We'd really rather just live in the garage. So I don't know how that changes things, but we have other things to worry about right now. So, but we do have a storm coming and our RV can't get wet. Yeah, the drone shot from right above it, you can just see the split straight down the whole really? summer. And it's flapping in the so wind. Stupid. So you're saying now you're, you're probably gonna take your trailer straight into the garage probably for the winter? We still have to connect the septic. So we either have to dig that ourselves or hire it out, which is the plan. It's not airtight, obviously, right. so we need to build some sort of temporary wall or something. I don't know. I think we'll figure it out. So now you have you have your own timber frame project back home that you're working oh, on, don't yep, you? Yep. Some little shack, a 12 by 16. Are you making an airplane hanger? Is that what you were saying? Oh, or? No, that, that's already there. And Which one do you want? It's in the way, so that I can't one? get the yeah. planes in and out. Oh, okay. Whew. Don't break no backs here. Now what are you going around checking? Basically all the measurements of every <coughs> every piece of wood. Right. All of the male pieces have to fit perfectly into the female pieces. Right. If one's too big, then the assemblage will stall. 
right. have to take things apart, put them back together again. And, and, th and in this case, having stalled assemblage is, is not ideal, right? No, in the middle of a snowstorm, day after tomorrow, <laughs> it wouldn't be good. But it's, it's always the case that spending time before put, putting it up pays for itself tenfold. How much tolerance is acceptable? Well, even a sixteenth of an inch too big will prevent <coughs> the tenon from going into the mortise. Right. So, <coughs> certainly within a sixteenth at least. We like to keep it exact, you know, right on the money. See, like this right here. <coughs> that thickness there. This, this post is going to be standing up. 10 feet in the air, right. and then a beam is going to be swung up over it and dro dropped into it. Right. And if it doesn't go in, <clears throat> then we're stuck. But we do have these great big sledgehammers, so we can to some extent pound them together. We like them to be tight. Right. We, don't, we certainly don't want them to be loose. So it's, it means just doing it just right. It's right. that simple. We're really making headway. We have finished timbers, we're putting them up on the second floor. So we can get some oil on them, so we're ready right. to go. How's the quality of the... Really good. <laughs> the quality is good. It's really looking good. <laughs> I'm super happy with the quality. I'm going to walk straight back into something that's going to be... <laughs> the students have been doing well though? They have been, actually. It's been very impressive. The main post over there that they started uh, Monday morning <clears throat> are all but done and done very well right so things are really looking good i think we're going to start putting vents together tomorrow which is a little ahead of schedule for this for this end of the week weather that i keep hearing about exactly <laughs> yes. we're trying to get ahead of schedule we gotta beat the weather it's not gonna happen it's gonna be sunny sunshine and lollipops all week <laughs> yeah you have your impact <laughs> Oh, so you're finally going to come through and finish that one, eh? Or yeah, is that... you know, I figured, you know, time lapse is done, I'd come and come and finish the joint I started. Unless you want to finish it. I don't, I, the, yeah. Here, we'll try this one now just for a little bit, just so you can see the difference. Right. So this is the slick. That's the slick, correct. I gotcha. Even better. I like it. Get mine blew away. It does. Yeah. But it takes a two inch, right? A little too excited on that one. <laughs> We're getting there, eh? Yeah, that's that's great. That's basically I'm just gonna clean this up a bit. That'll be make it look pretty. We're gonna fill in the shed first. And so like we've got a six by eight and so to get to the center of that you're looking at 12 years, mm, 12 to yeah exactly um no <laughs> sorry six to eight years two years per inch to get to the center if you don't oil them they dry very quickly and then there's lots of cracking and checking and, and so on so this helps a lot with that so what i want to do is spread these out we don't need to we, we absolutely do not want to oil any tops because the guys are going to be walking on those in a day or two and they'll be quite slippery so no tops do you stay away from yep you're going to stay away from the surface that has the holes drilled in them and then when you see uh, the r's which are the rim joists we don't need to do the outsides at this point because they're very rough which means they're not drying as quickly the grain hasn't been ex hasn't been exposed so those are stable enough so like this one, I'd like to swing around and roll it over. Right. And let's try to stay on the cardboard to a certain degree.
Wow, what a day. My gosh. The weather's changing, the wind's bringing in new weather. It's warmer weather, so that could mean rain. <laughs> Let's just say we're doing good enough that the shelter crew is leaving like at a reasonable hour. Yeah, I, I heard someone say they were gonna go late tonight, but seeing Gaius pack up his tools there, yep. I don't know. All I heard earlier was pizza, and then I couldn't really think clearly. So I think there's some pizza in our future. How'd yeah. I go today? I didn't see much of you today. I know, I didn't. I think it went, I think it went well. We were side by side for a little while. I think I did a lot. Actually, I no, that's not true. Lot. I think what's, what's, what's deceptive is that we're doing so much work in a day that it doesn't feel like we spend much time together. Because this that's morning, we both laid out scarf joints. That's true. We both laid out top plates, and then we did tenons on the tie beams together. So we've actually spent a lot of time together, but in like it just feels like the day flies. So we probably spend as much time apart as we do together. Yeah. But it's still fun. Aww. And you haven't touched the camera. Nope, I have not I did touched. I film I, Levi shortly did you? for a very short time. Oh, I time. used your camera. Oh, this is true. What and I did I, was I touched his camera, and now I want one. So I can see that. I, I keep looking. <laughs> Levi's yeah. like, "Is my time lapse okay?" I'm like, "I'm just checking out, checking out your gear." Right. <laughs> like, hey Levi, how much does that cost? Three grand? Oh crap! Oh, <laughs> a lot of money. Well, Christmas is. Soon. <laughs> I think a lot of people got through their posts. You could really see the like the morale kind of dropping as people got deeper and deeper into the mortises, which is just, well, it's really tough on the mind. Because it, it feels like it's just this bottomless hole, like you're gonna get to China at some point. Well, it's hard, because all you've done is one post with your partner. With your partner. And you have a whole frame, and it's taken well, you two days to do a post. Yeah, and you look at the ocean of timbers, and you're just thinking, there's just no way. You know, but then once everybody got over there and started doing a lot of the Joyce pockets, there was a lot of like camaraderie and like a lot of like poking fun at Bob. Um, and Gabe, <laughs> but Gabe takes punch as well, but he also punches back. Um, no, it was a lot of fun over there, and we had a lot of camaraderie. It was really, really fun, and then people blew through that. I can't believe how quickly we got all the joist pockets cut. And then before I knew it, we're still working on that those tenons over there and those floor joists going up. Mm -hmm. Can you smell the orange, the hair yeah, tutorial? Yeah, like, so I think good. it was Thomas. He's like, who's wearing orange cologne or something like that? And Did you like, go oh, up so there goes, yet? No. Oh, they're so beautiful. Maybe in the Is morning. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oil might be evaporated off by then, but. Cool. What are your big plans tonight, Levi? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Render some with, time lapses, with, grab some food. Rhymes with schnauer. Have a shower. <laughs> yeah. It'll be good. Yeah, this is pretty wild. I got to talk with a lot of different people today too, which was really cool. Tried to kind of work next to people. I think when, when, when they're working on posts, it's hard to get in there because you're kind of stepping on their toes uh -huh. a little bit. But when, when there's like six people working on tie beams and you're all like farting in each other's faces, it's pretty easy to get close <laughs> to people. So. I mean, we had hot dogs for lunch. What did you expect? Exactly. Probably should have had hot and dogs beans. yesterday. And beans, you can't forget and the beans. beans, more importantly. Should have had hot dogs yesterday because like people were more far apart. And then today everybody was pretty much sitting on each other, like, you know, face to butt. All right, let's go get pizza. Sounds like everybody's relaxed and we should too. I think that's appropriate. Sounds, that way we can great. stay in the same groove as everyone else. Cut to Blueberry's Disco. Where's, yeah, where's the music? <laughs> Beware of seizures. <laughs> Good morning! I was like, I think that's Levi, and then I heard like, step, step, quiet. Yeah. And I was like, maybe he went back down. <laughs> you know how I know you're sneaky? I knew you were using the cannon yesterday. Yeah. And I was like, yes, like I can get my hand on some of this footage. Ha ha ha. So I like popped it out, or no, I, I went to plus play and it said it had no SD card. <gasps> so I looked She's and it like, was missing. She's like, that little snake, he Dang took it. the SD card. He took it with him. <laughs> Of course, I gotta back it up. <laughs> I was like, ah. This is really funny. She's like, ha ha ha, my evil plan worked. And then she goes in like, oh, and let's go with the car. And he used it. <laughs> what are you guys working on over here? We are oiling the end grain. Excuse me. Yeah, we're oiling. Blueberry demanded us to do the most satisfying part of this. So apparently Snowpocalypse is coming from the Canadians. They've sent like Hell's Thanks, Fury. Levi. Yeah. <laughs> Thank your comrades, Levi. Brought it with me. Yeah, right. <laughs> because at any point the weather's gonna change and become miserable, we're adding oil to everything that's done so that we don't have to do it in the rain and snow and stuff. 
and this timber is unreal when it's oiled. We're doing all the end grain with this like lemon meringue stuff. It, it smells looks, so good. It, it smells, smells good. amazing. <sighs> One common misconception about timber framing is that it is done with dry timbers. And that couldn't be further from the truth because dry timbers are really hard to work with. They don't chisel well. They don't saw well. So much so <clears throat> that Gabe is not cutting all the scarf joints. Yeah. He's cutting and then slicking because yep. just being exposed to air for a couple of hours, he notices it dries out enough that it's harder to slick, the which grain, I didn't know. The end grain dries out just enough on the surface that when you try to run the slick, it's like trying to cut sandpaper. It's that quick. Yeah. So uh, we oil the timbers, <clears throat> not so much for finish or beauty, but to retain the moisture in the timber because you want the timbers to dry really slowly. And we use oil to keep the water in the timber as long as possible so that as it dries, it's less likely to warp and twist and check and do all those things. And the end grain is where the majority of the moisture actually leaves the tree, not through the sides, it's through the ends. And of course, we won't be able to get to the joinery once it's built. So we've got to make sure that the ends are really well oiled. I feel like today's going to be the defining day of the entire week. Yeah. I think it could be. I think we have like this really, we have a really big problem. The weather forecast is kind of like him hawing between like Two feet death of snow. and eh, could be okay. <laughs> so, so we can't tell. Right. All we know is something's coming and we know that we're just on the edge of it. So we're, we're sort of hoping that our friends across the way in Montana don't get it too bad, but it'd be nice if they kept most of it. <laughs> um, so they're gonna, I think we're, we're literally wanting to get this frame raisable today which is unreal. That way we can start assembling vents and doing test fitting and stuff like that. That way if the weather just completely like implodes on us, we've got time to kind of work through because people are going to slow down, work's going to slow down, safety is going to become like the number one problem that we have. We were kind of talking about the difference of a workshop in a very controlled environment and a home build workshop. We in Maine had shop talks like five times a day and we're, I don't even know if we had one yesterday. We had one, right? We might be having one a day and the shelter crew's stepping in a lot more so students aren't getting to do like- As much. As much, but I don't, I think people are here for a very different reason. It's not to have a very controlled workshop experience. We're very much reacting to the weather and the weather plays a huge part in building a house. So for people that want a realistic home building experience, this, this is it. This is what you worry is. about the crane coming on time, potentially getting the crane early, moving ahead of schedule, using more power tools. Working into the night. Um, working as a team. Yeah. And yesterday we had a few people at dinner offer to stay beyond the workshop to help us if with any it. last minute tasks we need it. Um, yeah. Like Shelter said, we, we might be responsible for tapping the pegs into the hole, which is easy. You know, things like that. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see how this all plays out. Yeah, a lot of people, when they kind of take a journey like this, they want some 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 continuity there. And this has been everything but. Everyone's commented on the schedule. They're like, so according to the schedule, we're supposed to be laying out joinery right now. And we're <laughs> practically done with joinery. And that's kind of been the, the mood of this entire workshop. Right. Is go, like, go, go! Go! When's the last time you guys have gone on like a proper date? Long enough Does, that my short-term memory doesn't yeah. remember. I was going to say, we go to dinner a lot, but I don't I hardly call that a date because... Oh, I know. I actually know. It wasn't really a date, but it was like sort of. So back in July, it was like the day after we got our new truck that we refused to do a video about. We went to British Columbia for a hot springs day, uh -huh. but it wasn't really a date. It was like really rushed. So it's been probably over a year. We actually calculated we've had a cumulative, it's important, cumulative two days off in the last six months. So if you want to know what home building's like. So right now, oil and timbers in the morning is about as good as the date gets. <laughs> hey, look at this. It's yeah. pretty good. We really enjoy this and we feel very fortunate to spend so much time together. We know that most couples would choke each other after about three days, but. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was really fascinating. Like a lot of questions that I hear people asking you, particularly the husbands that are here to you, Jesse, is like, man, like, like did you have to trick Alyssa like yeah how did you how did you get Alyssa to become on board and actually a willing participant in all this yeah 
No, I'd and then say, how do you not argue constantly? <laughs> it's been a very, yeah, I would say probably, I mean, there's been some sawmill questions, some house questions, but maybe one of the most popular questions is relationship driven. Like how do you get your spouse together? How do you work on this stuff? What's been the problems? Do you guys actually argue? Do you edit that out of camera? You know, is that like a real thing? Like, do you guys actually choke each other once in a while? Or are you guys really just this good, you know? <laughs> Relationship advice with Jesse and Alyssa to be continued. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard Blueberry saying she got this oil. Like, is this oil stuff from them? Yeah, yes. they. She was saying they got like a source of, like a couple that makes it organically or something or other. It's this pretty. This is vegan, paleo, organic. Um, what else? <laughs> this is like fair has, trade. Is fair it trade. gluten free? Gluten Are you free. sure it's gluten free? What's very rare about the shelter is their level of experience with this stuff. They're not just timber framers, but they're tool connoisseurs, they're finished people. They've tried, like they've ordered everything in the catalog and tried them all. And they have found what works. That's one of the reasons that Shelter is so successful. And it's one of the reasons they kind of keep that as proprietary information a little bit is because it's, it is part of their 35 or 40 years doing this, 45 years doing this, is what they use which most people don't have that knowledge. Case in point, <sighs> Yeah. did you see that Kimberly and Brian broke their mallets? Oh yeah, Aaron Both broke Both of them too. snapped the handle off their mallet, like Aaron, on day one. Yeah, they, so they bought their mallets off Amazon. And then what happened was, I think I think Brian let Aaron borrow his mallet. Uh -oh. And so Kimber, or I think Brian broke one, and then Aaron like two seconds later is like BAM! And like broke the head off the other one. So yeah, they broke two mallets yesterday side by side apparently they weren't even hitting them hard so there's that but yeah shelter has learned the tooling that it takes to do this work and do it well and it's not they've they've what's nice is that it's not all expensive they've found a cheap tool that does the job and an expensive tool that does the job that way when people buy their tool kits it's an investment it's like 600 bucks but they get a set of tools that you could use to build this you know and our or, tools are still in great condition yeah dig them right out of the bag and sharpen them a little bit and away you go Boy, now that Levi's gone, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> but you can also use the Raptors per foot of run. It's 16 space 97 triangles spelled out. So if you don't have a calculator on you, you can use the framing square. We will then also use the framing square to recreate the unit triangle on the Raptor. That we can do again. So we're, we're sort of doing a stepping off procedure where you could take the frame and wrap it around. Since we can use multiplication, we don't need them. That's equal to 16.97 inches per foot. Why do we say per foot? Multiply that times the run. Uh, do this calculation so we have a calculator. Lines to the other side. The total amount here might vary based on the nerve wrapping that big piece of wood. I would suggest doing the feet first, yep. What are you guys figuring out? <laughs> the layout for the uh, rafter. For it to attach to the ridge beam. I'm gonna go. Right. There we go. And you don't want to cut a, a beam this long twice. Three oh five and seven eight. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna go right to zero. That would be really sad. Just so you can double check. So you're you're laying out that notch right there, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this this is going to be the line where it meets up with the other side rafter, and this is where it sits on the beam, the the ridge beam. Let's just stop it right here. All right. <laughs> Big moment! Oh my gosh! Oh yeah. As long as I don't throw my back out. Yeah, during that big moment. <laughs> Live stream the erection for me, I'll be good. Live stream the erection! <laughs> 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 the one week where you can use that word as often as you want. Nice. So last week I had a big long five days. Five days. I'm gonna go see a doctor. Did you call a doctor? Nope. 
I was thinking if we could do a Monty Python later, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Someone with coconuts could ride up and try to challenge the castle. What are your parents doing over there? They're turd polishing. <laughs> so we, we actually decided, we had like a 30 second heart to heart that we're not wintering in that structure. We refuse to fix the rip in it. It's gonna start raining. So pretty much the push is on to get the RV in there and we'll do what we have to do. Jesse mentioned an outhouse and showering elsewhere. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure somehow the, the RV is going in there very soon. So for now, I asked my dad if he could just tarp that for us. Bad thing about a tarp is with storms usually comes wind, so there's a good chance. Let's just say we hope it doesn't get windy. I really think some people in the area have avoided stopping to say hello to the new neighbors because only a crazy person would live in there. <laughs> Tell me there's not a little truth to that. <laughs> there's a little bit, there's definitely a little bit of truth to that. Ooh, Big years. frame's gonna pop up and be like, what? Like that, that, like that doesn't make any sense. Lay it on the ground lengthwise, and then it has something to tie on to. Maybe rocks on top of that? It's cheaper than uh, painting your house a new color, eh? Yeah, that's right. And then when that splits, we'll put another one on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the, the, sorry, this is the top. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Cool. It's working out so far. I'm just happy that it's nice and dry today. <laughs> People will be so upset at me if I don't get a toolbox to her. Well, I gotta, let me clean it up first at some point. <laughs> you don't get it. No, it's gotta be real life. No, I the gotta, real deal. I gotta clean it up. So you just bought this on Amazon, eh? Can we put an Amazon link in the description? Or? Yeah, the affiliate link will be, will be down in the description. Check the description. <laughs> yeah, so I took the class the other week and gathered some tools. So I threw together some organization and tool storage. And I didn't want all my tools rattling around and banging together. So I kind of built a toolbox to keep everything separated. It has several layers of functionality. Um, for instance, this chisel tray lifts out. I can take it with me. And then I've got um, my mallet, block plane, and sharpening guide that'll lift out. And it gives me another layer of tool storage down here where right now I've just got pencils and another saw and a leather strap. Sometimes I'll throw my headlamp down there, whatever the case may be. What, what kind of material is this made out of? This is made out of 3 8 inch Baltic birch. It's just kind of a high quality plywood. Right. And then the rest of this, all this darker wood here is all cherry. It's just some stuff I had laying around. I'm just cut a slot in both sides and then the lid slides on and it's good to go. It might be the the toolbox that's catching the most looks here this week so far. It hasn't been stolen quite yet, so that's good, but um, <laughs> we'll see. The week's not quite over. Slow down back there. Slow down back there. Slow down. Careful guys. Hold up, hold up. Careful. Can you pick up the back? Can you go up higher? Pick up the back. Right there. Whoa! Beautiful. Only 19 more. Good. Are we going to move them before or after the oil? flat surface so it'll sit right yeah. here because you've created you this, this to here. be mm -hmm. this to be square got it um, so that it sits so that on the right that's because that's where what you'll see that'll go up against okay. and you won't I have all these tools and no work. I'm unemployed. I think I'll just go beg. 
Is it just me or is it getting darker out? It is getting darker. We're losing light. And I see, I see precipitation. It's not smoke and it's not fog, so it's precip. Oh, I think I just felt one on my ear. I think it's snow. I think it's snow. Or raining. Oh, I see another one. Here it comes. Do you see that? Yeah. It's it? coming. Uh-oh. <gasps> Be ready. I keep getting my phone out to check the forecast yeah. to see if it's changed and I keep getting distracted. <laughs> like, go oh, Facebook, go oh, text message. Uh, oh, the rain is coming and those are a lot of snowflakes. When Pat was telling people it was going to snow two feet, I'm like, no, Pat, like it might snow an inch. We'll see. I don't, I think we're fine. Boy, look at the fog come in. Yeah. Big old rain cloud coming right out. Yeah, it's not fog, that's rain. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the fog. Well, <laughs> fog. The lovely fog over there. Fog is just the clouds. Actually, wait a second. Lower. Look at that lovely mustache over there. Yeah. How long did it take you to grow that, Braden? Uh, I've been working on it. Uh, boy, I quit my job two weeks ago. Isn't it? Is it November? Oh, yeah, it's no shave November. No, no shave November. It is Movember. currently. Movember. It is Movember. You your yeah. My wife graduates in about two weeks, so I'm probably gonna have to shave in the middle of November. Okay, rain jacket time. Yeah. Yep. We want, we want to, to do those things. Gabe, why is your coat on? Uh, I want to be very reflective. I don't want to be backed over by any trucks. Water glide cam shot. Since, in, I'll roll since, you around. Yeah, let's get some let's get some sweet let's get some nice shots here. This is how we're gonna do it. Okay. Let's get a nice shot of this here timber. Oh look at that. It's like a dolly. Okay, can we back up and do it again? Okay, cut. Okay, and action. Oh jeez. That was a great shot, Jeff. Thank yeah. you. Anytime. This shot was brought to you by this wheelbarrow. You can have a different one. Blueberry. Oh wait, you've been wearing your coat all day, haven't you? I have. Okay, so I can't I can't ask why you just put your coat on because you it's did. It's raining, that's why. It's raining. It's gonna snow soon too. Gabe wasn't willing to admit it. He no. said he was just trying to be reflective. <laughs> he never admits bad things. Oh now now Pat's putting on his. They are those. <laughs> Gaius! Why is your coat on? It's starting to sprinkle a little. And it's very dark. I wanna make sure people can see me. Hey, that drill seems to be working a little better. Yeah, that other drill was just dying slowly. What's going on? Band-aid? No. I heard band-aid. Band-aid, band-aid! Mike, what'd you do? I got a little cut. I put my blood, sweat, I didn't, I didn't cry yet. Shot of that. And I got that on a slick. It just came, I just touched it. Just Dust, barely grazed it. Just grazed it, and it just took that top layer of skin right off. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way. It was just like, ugh. <laughs> Turn around, see me filming, you're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> It's okay. I have evidence you were working hard. That's no fine. worries. No one's going to judge. You'll you have just the have evidence. to edit this part out. Yeah, we'll edit yeah. this part out for yeah. sure. Make sure I'm working on it. Alyssa, remember to edit this part out. When you can see the rain on video, you know it's raining. Can you really? Yeah. Uh, I'm not off here. We're, we're one short. Oh, wait, not gay. Oh, gay is too valuable. Blueberry, you want to go at that other one? Oh, 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 oh
Woo. Tools and rain. No. What's really uh, stupid is that off the this roof is not waterproof. It's a floor, not a roof. Yeah. Aaron, you're doing great. Nothing like making them slippery before. I think it's your turn to swap <laughs> out, eh? We gotta get a clipboard too. And one more on the side. Follow the leader. Jump! <laughs> Lunch. Food ladies here. <laughs> yeah. Clock as you put that jacket on, Gaius. <laughs> Bob, did you see what I did with your umbrella? Got, got a supervisor. <laughs> Found an umbrella holder. That's awesome. Every Where? job is important. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Hey, you're all good. All good. <laughs> Looks like you're staying relatively dry over here ish. It, yeah, a little bit. I'm going to get a chance to get my rain clothes on before I started this. What's happening, Pat? Dude. Tooth. Tooth? I asked him what's happening, but I have no idea what he said. He said like tooth or something. Like, oh, yeah. Truth? Are we doing a 180 again? Uh, we will have to because the tin Okay. So we'll aim for the front and you guys can get it for home. This way. From the back. Good man. We are laying out the pose for the ridge bend. That's the one we want on the bottom of the stack. This is the last one that we'll put up onto the building. So we build the bents in reverse order. And so there's going to be a stack of them here. Yep. It's going to be five bents high by the time we're done. The snow is going to help elevate us to the top of the stack. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully by the end of the week we'll be able to just like lift up the last ones just by carrying them up there, right? Just walk up a ramp of snow. That's right. I think you had it right. Careful. You want that end over here, Brady. You gotta spin around. around again. 360. 360 bonus points. We'll do this until whoever stole the whiskey fesses up. We can do this all day. Beating will continue till morale improves. The beatings will continue. And lift. No. So you catch the long part first and then the second part. Rotate. This is going to be a. You may see the northern hemisphere where beams always turn to the left. <laughs> From the southern hemisphere, everything will go the other way. Is that the right pose? Yeah, it's for the, it's for the scarf. scarf. Aha! Ha ha ha! The engineers <laughs> did know what they were doing. We need to move this about four feet forward and that one about two feet forward. So they are all aligned. Do we align Via the beam? Pack. Do we move the post to the beam or the beam to the post? Moss blocks, kids. 
Wait. Are these? These look like blocks. Which way are we rolling? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a lot of disagreement. <laughs> All right. What? Like, like. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the umbrella, Bob. You're welcome. I'm glad I had it for you. Look how it doesn't rain. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. It's gonna look good. You, you do this in the shop. Well, how's the workshop been going? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you decide it was something you wanted to do? Just to see if it's possible. Right. Know? Yeah. Just to see if it could really be done. And to see if it's something I could do or not. Right. <laughs> have you been following Jesse and Alyssa for a while? I, yeah, I have. Right. So, just curious to see how their, their progress and stuff and everything like that. So. Yeah, it's going to be something else when the frame is finally up there on that. Yeah. <laughs> All the... Well, years now. Yeah. It's been years in the making. You know, that's the stuff I need <laughs> no, to hear. No, I, I can't, I what can't were you talk. wondering yesterday? <laughs> Is this really going to get done or not? No, it looks like it will. I think it will. Because, I mean, you spend so much time just like... Yeah, you're like a whole day just on that, you know? Like, I think we're way behind. But what do I know? I don't do this for a living. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious what the process will be like of getting this stuff up there. Like, yeah. I'm... Yeah. I'm very encouraged by, like, each beam seems to have what needs to be done on it done. Right, yeah. Which is really yeah, cool. Yeah, because all this stuff is now cut, which, you know, like, oh my gosh, look at all those beams that need cut, now they're all cut. Some refining to do, but. Yeah, it's amazing. So, how's lunch? Wait, what burger did you eat? Oh, you got a burger there? I can't even see. You got beef? Mm. Both went with beef, eh? Mm -hmm. Except mine's fancier. Oh, you're, you did a better job dressing it up, eh? Yep. Well, you haven't even taken a bite yet. So. Nope. Vegetables on a burger? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got chicken? Everyone's just beef over here. What's going chicken. on? You got chicken? Yep. Nice. It's got to be a burger, man. Burger. It's chicken burger or beef burger? It's beef. We're out west, aren't we? <laughs> and apparently we like our burgers the exact same exactly. way. She had zero. It was a beef burger. It was a beef burger. Mom, you're the odd, you and I are going to be the odd ones out, man. We'll have, like, tons of leftovers. <laughs> Bob, are you going chicken or beef? Uh, beef. Beef. Did you do something to your hair today? I did. Or did you? I put my new steaming gel on. You look good. <laughs> Ridiculous, how much water's in my hat? <laughs> Enough, I would say. I'm mad! Yes? What? Literally every time you hit it, it moves. We are laying out the pose for the ridge bent. That's the one we want on the bottom of the stack. This is the last one that we'll put up onto the building. So we build the bents in reverse order. And so there's going to be a stack of them here. Yep, it's going to be five bents high by the time we're done. What? Literally every time you hit it, it moves. Oh my word. Can you believe it? It's coming together. Literally. <laughs> so that's why we had to be that person. This is like more powerful than. I imagined it feeling like I could feel the power of the <laughs> This thing is no joke. Mm -hmm. Is that too, like, hippie -us? <clears throat> That's the view of your upstairs. Right? Look closely now, it'll be 20 feet in the air soon. Exactly. <laughs> You'll be like, Good sign, is there a scarf up there? So how do you guys feel? This is the first this is wild. joint of your new house. It seems so insanely ridiculous. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't feel real. Like, it feels like... 
kind of bigger than it's I thought it would be. This whole thing seems surreal. Like, I feel like we're part of the class. Like, this isn't our house. <laughs> <laughs> you can't wait to get home. I would bend down to smell it, but I can already smell it. Are we wanting to connect this to that? Or? I was f FaceTiming my wife over there. Were you? I saw this happening. I was like, Hi, yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> Phone in pocket. Something <laughs> exciting is happening. Are you filming right now? I am filming right now. Of course I'm filming. This I'm is why Levi's awesome because it looks like he's just like, you know, holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Don't get me being a millennial posting to my Instagram on camera. Okay. I'll avoid all moments of you being a millennial. Building an off the grid house, going back to the land, sticking it to the man. I guess maybe if it just smoothly went in, that would have been the end of the story. But is it, uh, wait, is that not going to press into the beam? Is that fine? What? Okay. <laughs> Got another ratchet if you want to do that instead of the knot. <laughs> Pat's just watching. A lot of tension. Watch your eyes. Keep that, uh, keep, keep that strap straight so it doesn't get... Uh, the one that you're sucking in? The other one, the, the, the short one, one keep yep. it straight. I don't think it can turn at all. Oh, so he's sitting on it? Or just... Put on that strap and get the slide off. Oh, yeah. Okay, we need to move that in that way. There we go. Does that brace need to be tapped in? Bottom it's out going in on its own. Oh, okay. So you don't need to worry about the squareness of it as you're putting it together. <clears throat> It'll no, because they're all. You guys did such a good job cutting everything that it's perfect, so it can only go together. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Four more feet, right? Yeah. Oh, it's in all the way. Got about a half an inch space right here on this. What's one. going on over there? We're already all done here. <laughs> oh yeah, you're really doing it now, Mike. Well, I think we need to get these in a little more, don't we? I would give it some more heat on the. Yeah, we'll probably suck them in as they're going, right? So, Give that a Jesse, if you want to just wiggle that end a little bit back and forth. There. There. Yeah, just a little. Oh, you there just it did it. There it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Bang. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Woo! Hey, it fits. Are we wow. loosen it now or are we keep it? <laughs> uh, you're keeping oh. it tight so they drill the pegs. Right. What I like to do at this point is get a block set up so it's not hitting the strap or anything and give it one good wallop to really just set it into place here with the the combination of the tension of the straps maybe one more oh yeah there it is very nice so when i build mine i'll 24 push on the let's go give me that kind of ready and push oh my aim sucks sorry you need to kick that in um, that way yeah. That's looking pretty good. But a, a strap will probably get us started. Okay. And run with it. You're going. Oh. Wait. All right. I'm going to come back around. Uh, what do we want you to do? This one? I have no idea. You've been waking out. You haven't slept in. You see it? <laughs> I guess that means I'm excited. When you take it apart, this I wouldn't put your hand there, but I would well, probably to put something on her so it doesn't go. So yeah. Maybe use the uh, stick or the handle. Of the, actually, if you put a blanket, so yeah, put, just, a blanket or a, yeah, actually something heavier than that. No, the heavier one is what you. Because that thing's gonna snap our way if it goes. Wow. Wait a second! Wait, 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 wait! That was way too easy. Let's yeah, do yeah, All yeah. done. <laughs> that was like, that All right, now lift it up. <laughs> <laughs> It was more desperate song. <laughs> it didn't come out of the hardwood. It came out of the round side of the tree. Yep. <laughs> yeah, boy, do I got off up here.
taught her that. <laughs> wait, wait for it. Wait for it till she gets it in. Yeah. Oh, Woo! Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. yeah. <laughs> Hear all the octaves there? Yeah, it's nice. like driving a 16 penny nail. Wow. Wow. What do you think? What do you think? What was that like putting the first pegs in? It's so there sweet. aren't words for it. I'm just standing here like a smiling idiot. It's unreal. I don't know. Yeah, I have no words. I can't believe that the last tree, the most recently felled tree, was Friday, yeah. which is five days ago. Tree to it frame. It went from forest to sawmill, and in one week's time, to planer it'll be in the to house. joinery. It'll be yeah. These, these moments are the moments that make all of this worth it. That people would think that every day is just exciting, and it's not. Most days are a grind, but every once in a while, you have a day that's extremely rewarding. Everyone has the same reaction, like, wow. <laughs> That's the union. Everybody's like, wild. I didn't think we are going to start doing wild. this until like Thursday afternoon. But I imagine this will, it'll take time to get all the benches on. According to the schedule, we're ahead of schedule by like over a day and a half. I think that's good. Which is good. So so that's how far ahead you want to be when weather's on the right? radar. There's snow on that mountain. Do you see it? Yeah, we just got dusted hard. White frosted. Yeah. There's snow over there. Miles has been smiling all week, but he's really got some rage. He's got some, got to let out. Got to take care of it. <laughs> got to take care of it. You could see that this mortise here was almost three eighths of an inch oh, over mm -hmm. from this one. Okay. So that's why this went halfway through, and then you had a hard time because you're hitting that <coughs> to pull this all together. Put it all together. Yep. Mm -hmm. You want the back end of the finger on this? Yep. Yeah, anytime. Yeah, you guys. Swing around. Yeah, pick it over here. Idaho drift. Idaho drift. Anyone can't climb over here. We need guys over here. Watch your fingers. All right. Bumping your way. Yeah. That, was, that was way easier than number one. <laughs> so, so you two right there are responsible for this year post? Yes. Definitely more. In like, perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna let out a really big perfect. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so we found our first mistake worthy of Pat pulling Jesse aside and whispering. So this joint was cut backwards, <laughs> which means um, this, see this like triangle right here? Oh, I see. 
this we can work with this, but there's gonna be one spot where you look at the ends of the rafters inside and there's no triangle. So not a big deal, but it would be a big deal to some funny, homeowners. So I think this is great because we had a lot of people say, I cannot believe <laughs> like, no, you're letting no, no, students no, 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 build staff. your frame. No, no, and you have all this energy invested in timbers that I like, we have a lot of people that say, I would do it myself if it takes two years. I'm not letting a student touch my frame. And we went into this knowing that mistakes will be made and most are correctable, or you can do something to work with it. So this is a case. Do we have our house plan? Could this one get swapped to a place where it's less, like are these guys numbered? Exactly, so what we're going to do is we're gonna put this rafter in a place where you're not really gonna notice the little triangle missing, which isn't a big deal. Those are our internet guys. Hey guys. We can glue a little triangle on later if we want to make it look the same, but we decided we're gonna put it in the master closet because no one's gonna notice ever. We won't even notice. Um, It'll be a fun little thing to point out. Instead of putting it like in the bedroom, so. You know well. none of the uh, students worked over here, right? Doesn't matter. Bob on it. Thank you there. <laughs> Thank you there. It is. I got it ready for you. How far down are these guys going? Levi's going for it. Leave it about two inches proud or so. A little farther. Yeah, that's three. Yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> it's not did you argue this week, it's what did you argue over? Square footage of our timber frame home. Oh, of future projects. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't think we argued about anything over this, did we? No, we did pretty good. I think we did pretty good. Yeah. Thank you. You guys already live in an RV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you sell your house? Yes. Oh, yeah. We okay. liquidated so you, like, everything. Pulled the plug. So oh, yeah. Were, were you both completely on board? Yeah. At this. For when we bought I sold saw the house. her face twitch. <laughs> <laughs> It took me a little while to get used to that idea and selling the house and stuff, but once we moved into the fifth wheel, then it was, okay, you know, we can do this. But selling all this stuff, that was actually so easy. When a new video is uploaded, who's the first to watch it or do you watch it together? It's about even. We made a pact that we have to watch them together. <laughs> but on the ones that we didn't, because I, I faulted. Yeah. I was like, Ooh, a new one, I'm like. Honey, why does it say watch? <laughs> watch like 4.3 minutes of Yeah. I was like, there's a minute and a half left. I didn't watch the whole thing. <laughs> the best part Sit down, long. let's yeah. watch the last minute and a half. Yeah, let's pocket here. Getting around the hand twice is kind of nice. Rotation. 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 All right, back goes first. Drifting. <laughs> Actually, I'm doing a back of that hill a little bit. We're going to light up. All right, we're going to do R in first, right? We're doing this in first. Yeah. All right, ready? Okay, hold on, you guys oh, gotta go guys, out. Oh, guys, guys! Gotta go out. <laughs> right. okay, hold on. Get, out. get down, duck. Duck, duck, duck goose. Right. Okay, coming down. Right. Coming down, watch your hands. All right. Hands and arms. <laughs> hands, mine's clear. Watch your hands. Finger. Clear. <laughs> That'll do. That was a good sound right there. That was a Dung. thud of thudness. <laughs> Dung. Dung. Come to me. It's exciting.
Hey Bob, you're almost hiding behind that uh, their stack here, eh? What's up, Miles? What's going on? How, how are we doing today? Pretty awesome. I'm yeah. off. Look how cool that looks. That looks really cool. The crate showing up. Ready to assemble tomorrow. Are we ahead of schedule? Oh yeah, like a day ahead. Feels like. I think we'll be done by noon on Friday. I think. Ready when you are. Here it comes. Thanks for the heads up. The crane has arrived. Okay, gentlemen, we're getting these up tonight. I don't think so. But I'm not sure. Things have changed. The crane truck is here. <laughs> Tomorrow sounds like it's gonna be wet and snowy. Are you are you mocking my culture, Gaze? No, not at all. Okay. Inch. Eighth of an inch gap. Well, I certainly saw it open and close on that one. Top's on shoulder, but that would be really tight. Nice. Again, Mike, just so I can assess what's happening. Sideways? Yep. It's yep. correct. Okay, hold on. Ready? 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 Oh, I think this is going to This is tight. Ooh. About it. Yeah. All right. That's what. Time to hit the mat. Get to do this again. <laughs> How long uh, does it take? We're having some technical difficulties. We have to take the bent apart and trim the braces because they're both a little too long. <laughs> Explain that to me again. What's going on? The wind braces are both a little bit too long, which means that the post can't fully engage into the mortise. We have to pull it apart, trim the wind braces a little bit. The hypotenuse is a little too long. Once we do that, we should be able to get it fully engaged in the mortise. Full frame too, guys. Now we're getting some movement. Yeah, that thing sounds like it's moving out. Yeah. Well, Miles looks like he means it. Yeah! <laughs> I think we need Mike on that. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. oh, there it went. <laughs> on to the next. Bam. That is really brave. Or did you already do it? Hey, this one is some weird. We did it with you like that. Good. What if we run across like the other pieces? Here we go. Push. You're not hitting it hard enough. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got some eighth inch, a mason knife in my car. One to as a support. Some WD-40. <laughs> I got some of that too. Hair dryer. <laughs> It's absolutely moving. We are going to knock this over to the stack. Oh, yeah. America, got it. Go. Yeah. I make no difference up here. Yeah, I was trying to hold the end on. This would be the most difficult part. Yeah. Well, it's the, they're bottoming out in the tenon. The the shoulder will slide along the beam. Regardless of... It's both. Yes. It's both. Oh. These both. I saw his was so hard. Am I doing the right one? No, you did the braces. You're doing the same one. No, did both sides. a little off each side. I can stop. A little more. Say when? When? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah. You're getting weak, maybe. Ready? Ready? Wait. Pretty good deal. Oh, you want to go on the end of that? It's like all buggered up from people hitting it. Oh, that's cute. Whoa. How's that look? Keep coming. Brother, you hold it. Why? Okay, waiting on you. Wait, perfect. Gaze <laughs> approves. It's getting dark. This is getting dope today. Do you get that feeling? Is this guy willing to come two days? Okay, switch it back to me. Tight, right? Tight. 
<laughs> I'm trying to hit the post. <laughs> I think that's now we're going to take it back out. I'm moving. All right, I'm going to drag this cord through, okay? Okay. Thanks for abandoning me on the uh, blowout blocks, by the way. It's not strapped. I mean, I don't know if they can put a lot more heat on this. You know, is it that the race is too long? Yeah. Nothing's hitting. Moving, yes, moving. Is this being going to set back? Good. Checking out, checking out the, the come along. Well, the puller together. I have more interest in the operator. Thank you. <laughs> that was so kind. Are you doing Nicest a? Thing are you doing a good else. job? Yeah. Right now I'm just pretending to, to do stuff while they finish pegging these, and then it'll be all done. Can you say more about my, my light, Gabe? Your light is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Way better than mine. <laughs> Levi, you saved the night. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> Without you, we could never have built this. <laughs> Those are the kindest words, Pat. Who put this? I was going to say, what kind of a gorilla? Do you want to double? It's getting easier. You want to double up? It's getting easier now. Oh, you had some heat on it. I did. I was pulling you, that. You were home. We weren't going to let him take that thing apart again. <laughs> Levi, we're both at the same place at the same time. We should wrap the video up if we're going to do it. Why do you think I'm rolling the camera? Because that's why? <laughs> that's exactly why. What a day. I'm cold. Can I get you to, to rotate to slightly over here? Yeah, there we go. Now I can see your face. That was fake. <laughs> Wow, I'm impressed with these people. I, people know commitment. I had no idea we were going to get all the bents assembled today. I thought this would be like a Thursday night type thing, but it did take most of the day to assemble them. But I think people it went very People were very smooth. busy doing mini tasks, yeah. oiling, finishing the bird's mouth on the rafters. There was very little joinery today, really. It was all rafters yeah. today, rafters and assembly, which is what they said would happen yesterday. That's what they intended to do. So fantastic day. I think the crew Have couldn't be more happy. Me too. We're way ahead of schedule. So. And the crane is here. So yeah. barring, bye. bye. I'll text you. Uh, yeah. We're so, gonna get hammered. Tomorrow. Barring a natural disaster, that's not just a little snow, we should be good. And everybody was pretty chipper through all the rain and snow and all that stuff. That was pretty incredible. I think everybody's really feeling it. They're feeling it. I'm feeling it. Tomorrow will be fun. We'll be indoors most of the morning doing engineering, which will be exciting. I'm looking forward to that. A lot of I'm people looking have forward asked. to heat and coffee. Yep. A lot of people have asked about the engineering side. Are we on your cord? Levi's on the cord. So that should be oh, it. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Yes. Yeah. Thanks Levi's light. <laughs> For helping us get the last bent assembled. Is that your light, Levi? Yeah. That's the biggest, that brightest like one. Towering you said something about light. your light, and I kind of just like acted like I knew what you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had some light over there. I didn't no, realize I'm talking it was about yours. the UFO in the sky. Your light puts our light to shame. Over there. It turns out Levi's like.
This is our last day driving up this driveway without a frame erected. Yeah. Sweet, I'm off the hook. Levi's here. <laughs> wow, so the snow is about two inches deep on the frame right now. It's getting wee deep. All the mortises are full of snow. All the top mortises. Well, you've been busy all day, Bugaboo. I left the heater on for this cat so he doesn't get cold. Bugaboo. It's late. You must do something today. Hey. Did you order the, the winter? <laughs> no, but did you? You know the coffee grinder at the store? How it's kind of like, like French press, cappuccino? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be one of those for weather. Where it's like sunny, partly sunny, mostly sunny. We're in dreamy snowland, that's for sure. We are, look at this, it's like so quiet too. It's like, like this is how quickly a job site can be root. <laughs> Seriously, when they when they gave the forecast, I didn't know if we'd wake up to like a half an inch of snow or like 10 inches. I was scared out of my mind when I looked out the window. I'm like, so apparently on my agenda for tomorrow morning is to shovel my floor. The floor Before there? the crane gets here. Because by tomorrow morning, that could be four inches deep. So we're going to have to scoop that out. So this morning we did, or this today, I guess, we did classroom stuff in a nice, warm, cozy log cabin. Got to look at engineering, bending moments, timber selection, species. Took a nap. <laughs> um, we learned about chainsaws. We got to hear some of Gaius's stories. Blueberry taught us about the stable gable. It's pretty cool. It was just really fun to... Kind of hang out with everybody. Everybody's pretty tired and everybody kind of had that sleepy, yawny, food coma, coffee coma, <laughs> sleep coma look on them. Did um, all the pizza get eaten? I don't know. I don't think so. I think there's pizza left. And I told Sue, order more. I've never seen a piece of pizza get thrown away. Because even cold pizza is good pizza. Oh, it's so true. So I'm pretty sure that's one of those foods you can't go wrong. Now, potato wedges, on the other hand, those... The texture just really goes off. Yeah, so tonight we have uh, dinner and kind of a social time over at a nearby house, which will be really fun. Um, and so a few people have come over here to just kind of learn about the property and the sawmill and maybe some other more relationship type questions. And then we're gonna wander over to the house. I'm gonna try to make ice cream. I'm gonna try to make ice cream. It's the right weather Real. for it. I know, right? <laughs> I was like, clearly it's cold. We should eat cold foods. So yeah, we have some raw milk. So we're gonna make raw milk ice cream, which will be really fun. Gonna kind of tour the logs and the sawmill and all that stuff. I think every, well, I thought more people were coming. So we might give them a few minutes to get over here. Did you get some like dreamy snow footage? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. It would seem only appropriate that we light the hot tub. Because, I mean, there, it doesn't get any more dreamy yeah. than a couple inches of snow, a little smoke coming out of there. The summer Jesse, he's looking a little soggy. I'm thinking he might need to change his outfit. That's the shirt you wore basically every day of the summer? <laughs> Apparently it's just, just shut down from the cold weather. This is my summer outfit, yeah. <laughs> right, see, I think people are still coming, so. Ah! Hey, hey. 
Bob, yeah. Bob's never been in a snowball fight. Dude. Where's Bob? Is Bob Bob's, Bob's on Bob's his way? Here, Bob's there. coming. We should all get him. We should all hide behind the log pile and just get, get Bob. Bob. <laughs> Excuse me, can you tie up your hair on a job site, please? Uh... Nah, I like it down. <laughs> I like the idea that it might get caught in the saw or something. Like Alyssa? You know? In the snow? Yeah, I like get that. Get sucked into the planer. <laughs> yeah. oh, some missed. long hair. I don't think I even noticed how long it was. It's pretty... I didn't notice till he took it down. When's the, long... Long. When's the last time you cut it? I get a trend pretty regular. Not okay, like you... six to eight weeks ish. I'll yeah. do that. I have a trend. To do. I trim yeah. mine yeah. like every ten months. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's also pretty bad. Motorcycles and such, though, so I get like wind breakage and so like right now I've got some pretty bad split ends, but it sound like really bad right now. Though. I was it's like a high maintenance little. Stories, <laughs> 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 Rich, what about your split ends? They have split, split ends of their own. Oh, your split ends have split, split, split ends. ends. I have like a full blown family tree on my hair. <laughs> Sawmill. What is? What does everybody want to learn about real quick? Who wants to just property tour? Who wants sawmill stuff? Sawmill. Sawmill. Anything. Sorry, I'm late. I had to get some lemons. <laughs> Not time for some sawmill action. That was not expected, and I can tell you because we started stacking firewood over there, and I was like five logs in. So anything that was like a highly tapered log, like this. You might get about 12 feet of really good lumber and then it would just taper down to nothing. So we just buck it off with the sawmill and that's what this short lumber is. It's about 12 foot and some change. Um, why do we pick a band saw mill? There's what's called a circular saw. They're basically monster circular saws. This, the short answer to that is that you cannot cut the length of beams we needed with a circular saw. The other problem with beam sawing is the depth of the beam. These um, circular sawmills cannot cut this depth. There's no such thing as a perfect sawmill, it doesn't exist. The basic tenets, um, so if you guys want to come around here, this sawmill has a tape measure built into the vertical, and this tape measure is referenced off of the, this bed section. Would you do it all over again? If you're given the option, let's say you had the funds to buy the lumber potentially, would you go through the sawmill route? Well, I think I've said this several times, but if I knew what I knew now, we'd have been done in less than two weeks. Okay, so it really is the, you'd stick the with it. The learning curve was really yeah. steep. Um, and the learning curve was everything from log placement to log placement. It's very difficult. Once we had a system down, early on, two logs in a day was a ton. And on, by the time we finished, I could do five to seven logs a day. There's a lot of little nuances there. So if it's setting on a knot right here, it's going to teeter. You can cut there in the log. I would say this, here's a couple things I learned that I didn't think about. I can't, I can't even really articulate why we have a 12 and 12 pitch roof. I don't even really know why. It's because it's a stable gable. It looks good on such a tall building. It really shortens the building because if you have this really shallow roof on a really tall building, it just looks stupid. That said, a 27 foot long rafter is bad design because there's something about dug fir trees that getting a 27 foot long straight piece of log out of it, it's really hard to do. I didn't know that about logs. Gaius didn't tell me that about logs, so we just moved forward with it. My logger told me that about logs. And I could see it, because I went out there and measured all these logs with them. And you get to about 25 foot and they all turn. I don't know why, but they all do it. So if you're gonna design a frame, if you can keep your links within 22 feet for whatever it is that you're building, maximum length, you will have no problem getting your timbers. So what's happening tonight? We are going to my parents' Airbnb rental. Oh, we're gonna have a party. Know where we're going? It's kind of a low-key party. It's a potluck, except no one's bringing their own food. <laughs> because everyone's traveling. Everyone's traveled here. And we thought everyone bringing their own food means chicken wings, potato salad, donuts. Pop and chips. Hot pockets. So my parents will be cooking. Right. And a couple of people are going to bring stuff. I'm really excited for the tabbouleh that Adol is bringing. 
and I think we're gonna have a good time. Gonna party it up before the big raising. It's kind of nice to have a little bit of time today even just to answer some of the questions that people have been wanting to ask all week. Yep, it's been go, 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 but I think I'm amazed I did not foresee having a whole day of downtime. Right. It wasn't downtime. Yeah, there's class in the morning, but. I think some of this stuff was planned for like earlier in the week, but it was too risky to do. Right. But I don't know, I, we could get dumped on tonight. Forecast is all snow. And things still charge ahead tomorrow either way. Yes. Well, your property, sir, looks pretty magical right now. Oh, I'm very aware. It's a winter wonderland over here. It's like, your, I call it winter goggles. Everything's beautiful with a dusting of snow. <laughs> Not to be confused with beer goggles. You're a little snow dusting on your hat. <laughs> we your almost bought a property because we suffered winter goggles. <laughs> and it was so dreamy. And I'm like, Jesse, we should go back in spring. Let's and we went back, like. like the magicalness was gone. And I'm like, I don't like this anymore. Like this property is not for us. But this one we looked at with the summer goggles and everything's pretty ugly in summer. And we still loved the property. Right, <laughs> so, perfect. Good property. Looks like a good day for a frame raising to me. So it's just after 6 a.m. It's still very dark outside. And the worst of this winter storm they forecasted is finally hitting us. There's a tremendous amount of work to be done this morning before we can even start the workshop. So this is what we're looking at. Now we're well over six inches, so maybe closer to eight. Let's let that warm up for a little while, eh? Oh, come on. There it is. Oof. Oof. Oh, yeah. And we gotta get this crane plugged in. Looks like a good day for a frame raising to me. Keep pulling out here? Well, we really just need people to get like park elsewhere because the snow plows will come by and they'll block everybody in. They'll burn everything. So we can't park down there really. Because they're gonna just plow that corner and they're gonna make a berm, you know, three feet high. So. Good morning. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, good morning. <laughs> yeah, I got up at five and I just looked out the door and I'm like, start the coffee. It's gonna be a long morning. And What's like, the general attitude right now between all the shelter guys? Go, go, go. Yeah, they're just hustling, getting snow off of everything. Are they it's, hopeful or? I think they're confident. I think it's a little chaotic this morning, but I got a pretty good head start, so people are able to get up the driveway and we'll see if everybody shows up. This will be interesting. This was this was not, I was in the plan, but like there wasn't really a plan. But the good news is, is, is it better to film in the snow? It looks really cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everything looks magical. Right? Look at our little generator house. <laughs> it's got like, that's, probably, cute. that's probably pushing nine inches of snow on it. That looks over a foot for sure to me. You think so? Oh yeah. It's probably pretty close.
Have you done a, a raising in the snowfall before? Many. <laughs> That's good news. Yeah, this is this is no big deal. I'm more worried about everyone getting here. People from south. Yeah, we'll have no problem with the snow. Morning. <laughs> this is a little bit different than raising a timber frame in Texas, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything you like, you look like an angel right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yes, it's snowing. <laughs> Good morning, Miles. Good morning. Think everyone else will make it in today? I hope. I think so. They're not too bad. They plowed since we came in. Okay. So, see what happens. Yeah, don't want to miss out on this. Dude, that's sweet. Isn't that great? <laughs> Where'd you get that, Amazon? It's a snow measuring tool. A snow measuring tool. <laughs> it's nice. I thought it was for sun flare. Or snow flare? Nobody, yeah. nobody knows what it actually looks like. What do you see on top of the camera? There's this like chunk of repurposed cardboard that it looks like somebody with a very inaccurate hand took a knife to and cut it in approximately half and then mounted it to a hot shoe? Is it actually mounted? Yeah. <laughs> wow, it could even take a little bit of wind. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. That's sweet. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh my word. the guy on the crane sinking right now? What's the guy on the crane thinking? <laughs> His butt's puckering. He's like... There's bent. Woo! Yeah. Blueberry! Yeah! What do you think? Pretty great. Trevor's pretty awesome. <laughs> I like his cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah he's like he's a true. That roof that he on that he's the real deal. He yep, he sure is. What's this? Whistle while you work. <laughs> I figured out why it's snowing, guys. Anna wore her snow hat. Nice hat, Anna. Thank you. <laughs> Anna screwed it up. I don't know. We're kind of custom making Levi. Any uh, ladders or anything up there? Oh, they got one. Yeah. Thing's awesome. I've loved it. Are you looking for the That's Thomas. Is the coffee here? Change my hat, just for you. Nice, see, I kinda like the snow. See, you drove eight hours after, you drove eight hours home, worked two days, drove eight hours back here. Worked two and a half days, yeah. That's crazy. I Levi. Be funny. Why not? What do you think of my snow cover? I was just gonna comment on your ingenuity. What do you think about my snow cover? Yeah, it looks great.
Is this the first chiseling you're having to do? Yep. First and only. <laughs> Last, right here. It does, I don't see Bob on it, but maybe it has Bob. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it. So that's how you get rid of that, eh? We are moving these floor joists over into position so that when they bring this next bent in, they can okay. raise them up and set them into place. Get the bracing off as soon as possible. Yep. Exactly. Oh, snow down. What do you think of that? <laughs> Pretty exciting. Isn't that something else? Yeah. Is this what you pictured on Monday? <laughs> I don't know. It's amazing that this was not like this at all a week ago. There were just sticks on the ground. <laughs> a week ago? Five days ago? Five days ago, yeah. And that's a day of doing nothing, you know? <laughs> just having our whole day yesterday inside of a warm motel. Yeah, this is something else. Gabe's doing it in the caught in the act. I think it was the branch. Pat's, Pat's, I think it was the, the branch that Gabe is cut. My fault. Pat's still smiling, we're okay. It's our fault. We cut off a branch on the tree. <laughs> Yeah, that top one was going to need to come off. You got to pick it up. Some stuff. 
snow into there. Alright, we need to push the bed out a little. Any beam de-icer, Levi? <laughs> How are things going? I think they're going well. We're uh, just getting all the timbers kind of de-iced. I think they're doing well up there. Basically I think all in shelter hands at this point, eh? Pretty much. They're doing a great job. They've enlisted a couple students to help. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard for us to like watch, um, but they work really well together. They hardly talk. They're really in the system, so it's it's best that as few people as possible are involved and up there. So I think the first two bends went pretty quickly and these ones seem like they're slowing down a little bit. Jesse looks far more concerned than he needs to be. <laughs> uh, just, I don't know, I just care a lot. I don't know, like I, it's really hard for us to stop working. This is what we do. It's like Pat, like you tell Pat, stop working. And he's like, no. Thomas is just like owning it. Thomas is like, ah, I'm just 22 feet up on a beam. It's no big deal. Mike's mobbing. Mike's been doing awesome. Mike's, he's yeah. been up there since sunrise. Yeah, he was shoveling snow and you know, look at him go. They've got it. What's weird is that there's just a little bit of uncertainty as they put each brace and stuff in, so there's no guarantee it'll fit. So yep. it's a little slow until they get it seated and then they're then they're home free kind of deal. So every time Thomas hits the floor joist, the snow goes boink, boink. Okay, so boink, this will actually boink. go quick because there's no floor joist in it's the only front. Three. I'm happy about that decision so far. I can't believe that you almost have a house up there. That's the thing about timber framing is it's like, I mean, normally it's months and months and months and months and months of work in a workshop. And it's like moving puzzle pieces around. And then, whoop, there's a house, like really fast because all the mm -hmm. pieces go together really quick. So usually people drive by in the morning and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, not, not much change. Like, ah, ah, there's a house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's timber framing. Okay, guys, pretend like you love each other. We do love each other. <laughs> <laughs> you say something? I said, Bugaboo. where's Bugaboo? Sleeping. Sleeping. Listen, he's done like 50 frames. Is he this under is... like a blanket? I didn't see him in there. He's in his cubby. He's above. He's got a cubby? Yeah, he's in above the table. It's like do you guys five. make sure not to close the door all the way so he can get out? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jesse, you're right. Every time he hits the beam, it looks so cool.
actually ask people questions over here and not yep. have it be crazy loud. hung up on that middle one. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Look at that. And that's as far as he's going to take it. <laughs> you got one of those extra large tubs of KY jelly over in that trailer, right? We, we're going to need to... Oil your timber. Insert timber. <laughs> Gotcha. Ah! <laughs> I can go. Do I do that? Oh, hello. Let's go. Is that how we're going to lift the students up for a photo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard Gay is cracking jokes up there, so he can't be too stressed. Oh no, he's fine. I'm just the rest of us are stressed. <laughs> He can't be stressed up there. He's not allowed. Oh, baby. Go, Thomas. Go, Thomas. timing in front. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now it's all wood, even the pegs. Oh, like, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Float the scarf! <laughs> <laughs> Four, five rafters. Ooh. If we just go on either side of this middle rafter, are we should be good. Uh, right? I think so. Want to slide them in or out? In. Yeah. yeah. So what's it been like being being a part of things up here? Oh, it's been it's been a lot of fun. I'm glad that we were able to be up here at least a little bit and help out rather than standing down there. But it's it's just amazing to see this whole thing come together like this after spending all week cutting these joints and and uh, it's amazing. I don't even know I don't even know what to say about it. It's just beautiful. So far, are you glad you came down to be a part? Oh yeah, so glad. Like. I might almost didn't do it just because my wife's pregnant right now and we have a 10 month old and and uh she's not due soon is she and um yeah kind of, well like a month so okay. we have some time you're but agreeing, you know any, anything can happen within that month so um but yeah so i almost didn't come but i'm i'm really glad that i did do you find what jesse and Alyssa have done like i don't want to use any cliche terms but like is it is it kind of been fun to follow their their process oh yeah it's been really cool to watch them watch them start with nothing here and and get to this point you know and and every time i get the notification that they have a new video up i jump on and watch it you know and, and it's it's really cool to watch them and i i really i appreciate the the attention that they they put into this whole project too and that you know that they'll they'll take the time to make make things perfect and make them you know the way that they should be and, and a lot of people would just cut corners and I, I like that they do that that they right. you know that they're taking the time to make this right because it's their home you know and it has been fun watching them do it and exciting exciting for them too because I'm also about to start building so it's it's, it's exciting in many ways Good. Come on. 
Uh, tell Trevor to drop the crane. Well, did you think it'd be that tall? <laughs> we knew it was gonna be as tall as that tree and we weren't wrong. Alyssa had a photo from here and she drew like a little pink house. <laughs> it's about what it looked like. It was a little leaning a little more. Gabe's got a harness on. What's their plan? Who's your name? Wayne. When you're a neighbor? I'm a neighbor. Just Wayne's been uh, keeping us in line. He comes over yeah. to make sure that we're working. And when they need something, I can kind of tell them where to go to get it and who's got it. <laughs> what has it been like kind of watching this whole thing unfold? <laughs> it's been it's been interesting because uh, we've got a couple of folks that are taking on quite a task on a little corner here and a couple they of disturbed my <laughs> cemetery. <laughs> This was my cemetery yep. for deer. I always picked dead deer up along the road and dumped them over here. When we showed up, we had three dead deer on the property and we're like, what the heck? And then Wayne shows up and he's like, I'm the guy that's been dragging deer on your property. <laughs> well, we get them off the road so the dogs don't get on them and get hit by cars. And No, it's moved right along. It's looking good. I'm kind of, you know, but there's some of the folks that, you know, build the luxury first, the hot yeah. tub before they get the house done. Yeah. <laughs> I know, crazy people, like why would you do that? Yeah. Crazy, yeah, this one will come down right here, so again. I mean look, it's yeah. like a drop in the bucket. Right, but watch, right, and so. Well, Pat, I'm not sure it's all going to get done today. Oh, yeah. You never can tell what's going to happen. We might have to leave a few of these rafters for tomorrow, eh? I think we'll leave one for Jesse and Alyssa <laughs> to do by themselves. In all seriousness, how's it, how's it going today? Very well. With all the snow, we wanted to be sure. <clears throat> you never know what's going to happen. Right. And so far, nothing bad has happened, so it's right on schedule. It all goes up faster than I expected. Oh, it always goes up fast. <clears throat> if the weather is good and uh, everybody's paying attention, it goes up beautifully. <clears throat> You're standing inside your house. I am. I'm standing inside a wall right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. This is wild. It's going to be really cool looking at all these scarps. And I'm really happy that there was some sapwood and heartwood. Like, look at this, it's all sapwood on this side. And then heartwood on that side.
aja is it already nailed on yes Pat might be willing to explain the tradition I'm sure he'll do a much more eloquent job than I will mm. I just want to say this is the branch that everyone was yelling at us since we started the build cut that stupid branch down because every time it was in our way and now it gets to be I don't know part of this experience where did it come from uh, it was on our chicken killing tree oh. <laughs> Pat what's the reason for the branch at the end <laughs> the owners want it that's the reason and why it, is it some kind of tradition or something like what's the deal oh it's a centuries-old tradition it's to ward off evil spirits it's uh, <clears throat> to be Christian from right. some people's point of view right and we do it for fun this close to Christmas you could put a few mistletoe mistletoe balls a little bit of uh, some Christmas lights plug it in down here lights, right Thumbs up, right yeah ready this is nice like one. the last everyone looks everyone looks the most prepared they've been all day <laughs> tell me so, about the wedding bush it's a bow that is typically from the same wood species that the building is made out of. It's called a wedding bush right. and it is to pay homage to all of the trees that went into building the building to ward off evil spirits right. and to set roots into the ground for the home and the homeowners. Wow. It's a pretty big tradition. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's from a pine or a fir. It's okay. We'll say it's we'll from a fir. We'll pretend it won't hurt. It, it still pays homage okay, to good. all the amazing trees out there. And, Gabe go. He's a rock star. You look great, Gabe. You've got a screw underneath here so it doesn't slide, right? Right. Camera's out. Oh yeah. I'm risking missing this to get all your beautiful faces. <laughs> Cameras. <laughs> All right, I made it. Ha. It's not even 2 p.m. I thought this was gonna be an all-day thing. Like just getting the last rafter up when it's like the lights already gone. And it makes me happy. I feel like we could all hang out, eat, drink, and be merry for a little bit. The people up there like haven't even seen the house yet, which is crazy. But seeing it from the inside is just incredible. Those trees were standing a week ago some of them that's crazy there's a crane crane's going away worked out pretty good well, how'd you make out today trevor yeah, every day is good <laughs> what do you think of the house beautiful you, i guess you always get to be involved in the best stage eh i always get to see the best day of the job <laughs> Cheer on three, three, two, one. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Take your screw gun from one side and you put it on the other side. <laughs> Braden Barber, come on down. Woo Woo Matt Bates. Jared Bennett. Thank you much. David Bushman. Miles Catalier. 
Paul Davis. <laughs> Adel Dimian. I think he left. Oh. Oh. Kelly Dow. <laughs> Todd Dow. Yeah. A. A. Ron Duga. A. Ron. A. Ron. A. Ron. Brad Eves. Hey. Never thought you'd actually graduate, Brad. Me too. Ryan Gould. Whoa. Hey. Yeah. Kimberly Gould. Hey. John Chris Griffin. Hey. Hey. James Houseman. James Lapp, our uh, yeah, Jim. Oh, Jim. Yeah. James. Eric Hoskins. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Boy, who met? Woohoo! Thank you. Thank you very much. Claire Olafon. Woohoo! Claire Olafon. Claire Olafon. Claire Olafon. Claire Olafon. Claire Olafon. Claire Olafon. Claire <laughs> Robert Park, aka Bob. 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 Come on! I told you I'm not fully Asian, otherwise this would be easy. Wow. Don't blink. How could you tell? <laughs> Michael Reed. Brett Taylor. Everyone that's here, get okay. a diploma. <laughs> Woo! Congratulations, guys. Right Thank, you. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is by far the best class we've ever had. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he said that in our class. Did you just say this? Speak under your breath. What did you say I got to read? Atlas Shrugged by Anne Rand. Atlas Shrugged by Anne Rand. Right. A-Y-N. And why should I read it? <clears throat> It's an American classic. Okay. And it has to do with people who actually make things happen. Right. And people who work very hard at making things not happen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, everything that Jesse and Alyssa have gone through with permits. Right. Amazing stories. <clears throat> she predicted that that was going to happen. Wow. Here we are. It's also a fun book to read. It's a good, it's a good read? It's a good read. Thanks, Levi. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Good job. Thank you. Appreciate it. There it's you been go. a lot of fun. Put that away and let me shake your hand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're the same. It was a big investment to come out here. Are you sure at the end of it it was worth it? Oh, definitely. Definitely was worth it. Uh, the training and the, the, the camaraderie that we got from everybody together. You know, everyone that showed up was professionals. And... Uh, and, and a lot of skilled workers here, whether it was artists or carpentry or engineers or anything like that. It was it was really nice and really fun to work with everybody. And everyone worked uh, really fun. And we got a finished product to actually show. So it was like it was really fun. I enjoyed it and it was worth every moment and every penny. Now we just got to dry it in. We'll be all set. <laughs> Do you have projects of your own at home that you're now excited to go back and work well, on? Well, I was building a, a bathhouse, a timber frame bathhouse, yeah. and so that structure is done, and I'm half tempted to tear it down and start over because <laughs> I learned so much. No. Right. I'm not going to. No. I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah, there's like, no, no, it's not happening. No. <laughs> we'll start a new structure. Yeah. Right. No, there's no room on our property for a new structure. Oh. It's like structures everywhere, but right. if, if we follow through on our idea of doing a bathhouse, right. not a bathhouse, I'm sorry, um, a and b right. and do those structures, then this will come in really handy. Right. So. Was it worth it to come out? Oh god, yeah. Yes, absolutely. This was awesome. Actually, it's like, I have something for you. Uh, one of the better experiences I've had. Was it fun actually being able to play a practical part in helping Jesse and Alyssa's place come together yeah, too? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like there's going to be this family out there that I helped build their home and like that's even if I never saw them again there's still a connection and that's really cool.
Stay in touch. Yes. Yes. Bye, Matthew. It's good to meet you. You too. Good luck. Glad you came today. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Levi here again. Uh, I've been filming this whole week and just having way too much fun. I remember on Monday, Alyssa saying that it might snow on the raising day. And I just thought that must, that, that will make the most magical looking footage of all time. I knew the stress that that would create for actually raising the house on that day. But I also knew the footage would look so cool. So hopefully you've enjoyed a glimpse into what's been the most magical day of the week. Obviously, I mean, as you go through a week, just notching out boards with chisel and, and, and just working on beams slowly. Uh, it's hard to imagine that it's all gonna come up and do a house like this. But uh, it was so cool to watch each piece come up today. And the Shelter Institute people just, they crushed it. And uh, it's a very rewarding feeling to, to have it done and to have everyone just be able to celebrate in it together. It would have been <laughs> such, a, such a travesty if it didn't go up today. I, I can't even imagine what what we would have done. So it's very cool. I've, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be able to hopefully capture some of this stuff for you. Hopefully it still has the same good personality that Jesse, Jesse and Alyssa's other videos have, but I've just had such a fun time just getting to explore around and point my camera in people's faces and find out what brought them here. And yeah, it's a really good week. I'd caught, you, I'd caught you at a perfect time. You're just starting to eat your first food of the day. Eat my sausage. <laughs> it's a pretty good day. We had a pretty good erection. <laughs> was, uh, that, that's all right. It was nice to meet you. Thanks for helping out with this. Just wanted to say adios before I take off. So I hear you're the logger. Uh, one of them, yeah. And there, there's a crew that works with me that we, uh, yeah, we got the logs for these two fine people. We made it happen. And 30, 60 percent of this frame is from Alan's personal property. Wow. Which what's it, what's it like actually seeing it up? It's amazing. That's quite the structure. <laughs> I remember when amazing we were scaling structure. the logs, Alan's like, those are big rafters. And I'm like, yes, they are. <laughs> they look so tiny going up. Yeah. At that moment, now I'm that like, it... they look too short. And sure enough. How often is it that you actually get to see the projects that the logs get used on? Uh, not very often. Yeah, right. we've, we've built a couple right. houses and cabins and anyway, it's, it's pretty amazing. This is quite the structure. <laughs> what did you think about Jesse milling all the lumber on site? <laughs> These two have earned their, they've proved their salt. I'll tell you that. <laughs> they can make any North Idaho winter if they can do this up here. Right. You have a good week, Jeff? I had a great week, Levi. Am I, what do I look at? It's okay. I, I like whatever's natural. Because YouTube's He'll different than post. camera. <laughs> I'll just fix, yeah, your, we'll fix eye, it in post. your eyes. <laughs> yeah, but the, the switching back and forth is tough. I think sometimes, like, if, if you're addressing me, talking to me behind the camera is fine. Yeah. But then if you like want to say something to the people, like looking down the Gets lens the and being people like, going. being like, it's <laughs> that's exactly it. Really? Not, I'm still not going to. It's like, <laughs> oh, you tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> You're one yeah. Safe. Two. yeah, one way. Yeah, yeah. Pat's out. <laughs> you look like an Instagram model right now. Do I? Jeff, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> What's that? Are you single? No. Oh. Because the, the, are the, the ladies of Pure Living for Life, I'm sure, are going to eat you up. If we put, like... Yeah, we Sing, to, single we and ready to mingle. I mean, if you want options, just let us know, Jeff. Because that moment right there was beautiful. <laughs> Do you hear this? Is your phone tripping up? It is tripping out. It's cold. <laughs> See you later, baby. <laughs> Like cleaning up after a college party. Bunch of red Dixie cups. Dude, there's a freaking house up there. <laughs> In the snow. These people are like superhuman. I'm I'm seriously just so happy for you guys. It's so cool. Isn't this cool? I'm trying to run over here but not pulling a hip flexor at the same time. I know I'm like kind of cold it. and I'm stiff. Totally. Overly juvenile to do a uh, boomerang right now. 
We should do it. <laughs> Levi, you know what a boomerang is, right? <laughs> do I know what a boomerang okay. is? Levi's telling oh us God. about Instagram stories. I've already stories. insulted I Levi doubt... twice with yeah. my questions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you heard of like live stories? Oh, yeah, well, you yeah, too, it's like... been a fun week. It's Dude. been awesome. Levi, everybody loved you. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> I think it was just one big family from all over the place, so. Yeah, it was such a treat. Made it work, you got up the driveway this morning. <laughs> it was pretty sweet. I had more troubles turning around once I got up here than I, I did. I didn't notice that. It was like you couldn't drive on the flat ground. Yeah. when I have momentum that I'm just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Thank you for all the early mornings and the late yeah. nights. Levi has practically lived with us for a week. Thank you for being a part of yep. this story. Yeah. It's Everyone's amazing. like, where'd you find him? I know, I think you're going to get a few phone calls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whether no, you want to answer please or not. Please don't phone call me. Any closing sentiments? Man, there I, are no words. I don't think so. I think this whole week's really spoke for itself. I think this is, if, if it's not already obvious, this is the power of community. I don't think we need um, to say much more. Yes. We look forward to returning the favor to many of these folks or other people that need help we try to make a habit of helping others and it feels just as great yeah. it really does i think one of the best things we ever did was get levi involved too and we've got lots of video right levi yeah i think right. i hit record oh, sure. i don't know where's the record button i'm so thing? excited on monday he forgot to hit record yeah <laughs> okay dude nailed it yes it's everyone agrees and now we're going to go spend more time together <laughs> <laughs> This will live on. This will outlive this story. I guarantee you. What a finish to this day. <laughs>